glory for breaking this curse in my family. It's a row and it's a testimony. For all this amazing testimony, keep celebrating Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Let's be seated. This is another epistle from the President Living Faith Church worldwide. The subject is Declaring Shiloh 2020. <laughs> Breaking limits greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. We serve a turnaround God. We have a turnaround Savior. Our God turned the captivity of his children as a dream of the night. Our God specializes in turning ordinary individuals into wonder men among men. God turned around, uh, God's turn around agenda for his children is a not a once and for all event, but a once and again experience. There are no ceilings on our destiny as believers. It is one encounter after another that engenders one turn around after another. Every turn around and experience in life is clearly a product of an encounter with God. From scriptures, we understand that we are redeemed into a turn around world after the order of Christ. Also, an open door that shall not be shut night nor day is a proof of God's turn around agenda for his children. But it is by applied revelation that we experience God's turn around agenda for our lives. As believers, we are not permitted to be stranded like others who do not know God because we have been redeemed as a peculiar people on the earth. As it is written, the path of the just is like a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Therefore, the theme of Shiloh 2020 is Turn Around Encounters. Can we echo that together? Turn around encounters. The louder you can. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 6. Shiloh 2020 shall be a mountain of diverse encounters resulting in supernatural turnaround in all areas of life for every participant. Every winner must endeavor to be at Shiloh 2020 either on ground here at Canaan land or across any of our viewing centers across the world. Note that all our churches across the nation, cities, towns, and villages shall serve as viewing center during Shiloh 2020. Looking forward to seeing you at Shiloh. Come Tuesday, December 8th to Sunday, December 13, 2020. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord. Bishop David Oyedeko, shout with your hands. To take us further in this breaking invisible barrier service is our offering time. Come on, sound it like you mean a blessing time. Offering time. So if you understand more better, package your offering, your tithes, and whatever you came to bless God with, package it. And if you have done that, why not rise to your feet this morning and you begin to thank God for that offering your hands. We have come to fulfill scripture this morning. He said we should not come into his ass empty handed and we have come with substance in our hands. Lift your offering above your head this morning and begin to glorify God. Worship him with us offering in your hands. Father, we give you praise, we give you thanks. To you alone be all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. By this offering in your hands there shall be 100% return. Say amen. And let your amen show you this morning. Cast your offering as we welcome the glorious voices. Hallelujah.
this early morning only God can do what no man has ever done today is November 1st what has never been in your life that is good shall begin to happen lift your two hands to heaven and ask the Lord over to you I surrender the remaining 60 days of this year before you Lord only you only you can do only you can turn things around only you can say what nobody can say only you can attempt don't no one has attempted lift your voice only you can keep me alive only you can keep me charged only you can keep me in force only you can do new things in my life lift your voice lift your voice lift your voice raise your two hands we have a lord i surrender all no debts no evil no bad news no reproach no delay no denier lift your voice right now lift your voice right now every barrier on your path begin to cause the lord to break them now break the barrier break financial barrier break physical barrier break environmental barrier break career barrier break life limitation every limitation of life break now break now whatever is standing between me and my breaking limit must break every wall of petition every wall of partition every barrier every blockage blocking my destiny thank you father in the name of jesus christ when god goes ahead of you no barrier can stand your progress today november 1st you are in the house of god in this first service every barrier on your path is broken right now isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3 isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3 Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand of holding, to subdue nation before him. I will lose the lines of kings, to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Verse 2, loud and clear. I will go before thee, make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gate of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Lift your voice right now. Begin to break every bar of iron begin to break every gate of brass lift your voice right now before the treasures can come the barrier must first break lift your voice every barrier standing between you and your treasure every barrier standing between you and your riches every barrier standing between you and your breakthrough every barrier break break every human law every satanic law every diabolic law every circumstance from hell that is stopping your breaking limit that is restricting your breaking limit lift your voice known barriers unknown barriers visible barriers invisible barriers lift your voice now 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 barriers are real break them now barriers exist break them now mental barrier spiritual barrier physical barrier every mountain standing hindering every obstacle standing limited every walk every roadblock every satanic impediment every works of wickedness every barricade every roadblock the enemy has mounted on your path to progress break 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 thank you father in the name of jesus christ now invisible barriers are unseen forces that are working against your inheritance look at verse 3 you will now discover what the verse 2 was actually addressing and i will give you treasures of darkness that ought to say amen and hidden riches of secret places 
that thou mayest know that I the Lord have called thee by name the God of Israel father by this service I step into my treasures by this service I assess hidden riches on secret places lift your voice by this service by the barrier that shall break in this service I step into my treasures I step into my treasures every resistance every hindrance every limit every breakdown that has stopped me they break in this service by prophetic war they break in this service by prophetic war and I step into my next phase I step into prophetic women thank you father in Jesus mighty name Lord this is November 1st send me a word for this month and beyond send me your right word send me your settled word send me your word in season send me your word for the now send me the word for settlement in Jesus precious name we are prayed father we thank you we are gathered here at your feet settle us by the sent word let the settled word be sent to everyone and let no one remain unsettled again break every visible barrier let everyone assess their visible tangible blessings of breaking limits in Jesus mighty name and everyone who believed your amen will be the loudest let's get seated it's my year of breaking limits congratulations the month have been prophetically declared as praise facilitate fulfillment of prophecy come on loud and clear the louder you can this month the teaching will be more practical than theory what did I say more practical than what theory if you can succeed practically then you have succeeded eventually I know that the month will deliver the best to you whatever remains with what God has spoken you will see it released to you you and I know that God cannot lie how many of you know that God cannot lie Titus 1 2 God cannot lie prophecy means what God has said and if God said it so you must be certain to see it so my prayer is that as we practicalize what God has said, we will see exactly what we should see. In hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the year began. Whatever God said in Shiloh 2019, breaking limit to you for 2020, you will not carry it over. Now that you have heard the sound of the incoming Shiloh, that is 28 days or 38 days from now there shall be no carryover in your life that amen would have been stronger so that limits can break breaking limits is the theme for the year 2020 and it's not permitted to be carried over in the year 2021 so we are looking very clearly this morning understanding how praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecies understanding how praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. How does praise bring prophecy to pass with speed? How does praise catalyze the fulfillment of prophecy? How does praise make prophecy come to pass without fail? Understanding how praise facilitate fulfillment of prophecy if i'm giving opportunity the message will be 20 minutes and then we'll do another practical for 20 minutes praise god now i want to start very clearly understanding is the core requirement in our walk with god understanding is the core requirement in our walk with god anyone that wants to succeed walking with God and not just walking for God must carry the emblem of understanding Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 23 and 24 God said that very clearly thus said the Lord let not the wise man glory in his wisdom neither 
let the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches what will you glory in verse 24 but let him that glory glory in this number one that he understandeth. number two and knoweth me praise god so god is excited if you can understand him god is eager that everyone that must succeed with him must under and the truth is this everything in life thrives on understanding everything everything divinity humanity check for instance marriage if you get married and you lack understanding you will fail in that marriage take for instance education if you attend the lecture and you don't understand the lesson you will fail the course take for instance career you are doing a job you don't understand you will succeed in it everything in life rises and falls on understanding why do you think that when people have problem they say we have misunderstanding that's the real thing they say we are having some misunderstanding that is to say if you don't miss that understanding and you get the understanding your life will be built on a clear pedestal my prayer is that when you understand this subject today your life will be taking a flight in the name of jesus christ acts chapter 3 chapter 8 verse 30 a man was reading a book clear book but another man met him and said do you understand what you are reading and the answer was very direct i don't understand verse 31 i don't so it's possible that you can sit in church now and you don't know what i'm saying you are just there do you understand what i'm saying he said i do not understand except a man should guide me except who except a man should guide that means to say men are guide to understand it men come and say men we live in a world of men if you your teacher is a man it's only god that is god everything you need to survive and succeed on earth is in the hand of men your promotion is a man your your passing exam is a man everything so we live in a world of men praise god ezra chapter 8 there about verse 8 he said they send us a man of understanding they send us a man of understanding a man of understanding my prayer is that god will send you men of understanding men of understanding that should be six seven or thereabouts you see that in the second service brothers and sisters i'd like you to know that understanding betters living understanding betters living you want your living to be better gain understanding all this fighting and quarreling and bitterness and is just purely lack of understanding and what is understanding ability to see into what is being said simple ability to see what is being said that's why when you have understanding the cheapest description is okay i see anytime understanding enters your spirit one of the major things you begin to shake your head and nod and if you are to speak the word that will come out of your head is say okay i see were you blind before no light entered your soul and seeing became possible my prayer is that as i'm speaking you'll be saying that amen can be brighter and better i say as i'm speaking now you'll be saying in the name of jesus christ understanding how praise now praise is a mystery in the kingdom praise i've concluded understanding now bring the next the next item in the subject praise is a mystery in the kingdom it's a mystery it's a mystery how do i know it's a mystery Pro, psalm 50 verse 23 psalm 50 verse 23 he said who so offered praise what is the end point glorified me and to him that order his conversion right will i show my salvation who so anybody i'm involved in praise who so offered praise glorified me who so that is what makes praise a mystery because it can change anybody's status who so 
and to whom that order is conversation if all of your language is expression of excitement and praise you are giving glory to god god was looking for is ezra chapter 8 verse 18 and by the good hand of god they sent us a man of understanding and by the good hand of god upon us they brought us a man of understanding brothers and sisters one of the major prayers you must pray for your life is for god to link you with men of understanding men who understand situation who understand circumstances you know what happened to david one of the major helps david received on a daily basis were men of understanding men of what men of what see that in first chronicles 12 um they said on a daily basis day by day god they came to him to help him day by day verse 12 22 for that time at that time look at it first chronicle 12 22 at that time day by day they came to david to help him until he was a great host like the host of god who were these men who came to help him go to 32 Joe, which were men that had understanding of times to know what israel ought to do the heads of them were 200 and all their brethren were their commandment as you obey this commandment today you shall emerge as a head in the name of jesus christ the curriculum of the day was understanding receive understanding right now that amen is not for this year that amen does not know times and season give me a november first shout of amen men of the only quality they had that was superior to others was understanding may you get that understanding today that's why when we begin to display the dimension of display is determined and defined by the understanding you have in that display. Praise God. That's it. Everybody writes exam the same way. But when you return, your result, it will be a display of your understanding. Praise God. But when we begin to display, writing our exam, your result will be based on your understanding of the subject of praise. My prayer is that your understanding will open right now. Praise God. Prophecy is the unfolding of God's plan and purpose for a nation or a people or an individual. Prophecy is the unveiling of God's plan and purpose for a nation or an individual. Prophecy. When you say a prophesy, it can either be for the nation, it can either be for a person, it can either be for a place. Prophecy. Prophecy. Deuteronomy 18, 21 and 22 prophecy so prophecy is not something it's not a myth it's not a legend it's not something you go and check in horoscope eh? and if that saying thy heart how shall we know the word who the lord had not spoken verse 22 if the prophet speaks when the prophet speaks in the name of the lord if the thing follow not nor come to pass that is the thing who the lord has not spoken but the prophet that has spoken it presumptuously, thou shall not be afraid of him. The prophet will speak in the name of the Lord. If it comes to pass, correct. From today, the word of the Lord will not be delayed. Every spoken word concerning you and your family will come to pass with speed. Ezekiel 12 25. Ezekiel 12 25. Praise God. He said, For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I speak shall come to pass. I thought you say amen. It shall no more be prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious heart, I will say the word and I will perform it. Say the Lord. God has spoken again. You shall have turn around encounters in the name of Jesus Christ. Scripturally, we have two sources of prophecy. How many sources? How many sources? The first source is scripture. The word of God. The Bible. This Bible is a prophetic book. It's full of prophecy. Everything here. And that's why we call it the more sure word of prophecy. 
second peter chapter 1 verse 19 to 21 the bible is the book of prophecy the source the first source the, before you meet any prophet you meet the bible we have also want to go a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well that you take it as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn the day star arise in your heart why for no prophecy of scripture came verse 20 and 21 by the prophet personal interpretation but every word was spoken written as the holy ghost moved men verse 21 praise god number two source of prophecy is from prophets sent your way prophet sent your way everybody like i said at the beginning how prophets sent to them everybody everybody that's why it's not everybody that appeals to you it's not everybody's message you listen to and you're excited it's not everybody's warning you hear to many pastors are speaking this morning but they are not sent to you on every altar pastors are speaking prophets are speaking but they are speaking to diverse people diverse information for instance this morning we have heard from bishop Mirico, the team of shiloh 2020 is what turn around encounters in other places there are other conventions redeem prophet we also speak to redeemers another church we also speak to his people now is the one that we belong to the one that is sent to all that we hit to luke chapter 4 25 to 27 this is why many have missed their encounters they don't know that persons are sent to places part time but i tell you of a truth one to go many widows were in israel in the days of elias when the heaven was shut three years and six months when great famine was throughout all the land verse 26 27 and unto none and unto none of them was elias sent save unto Sarepta, a widow of sidon and a woman of what of what, what do that? and many lepers were in israel in the time of elias and the prophet and none of them was cleansed saving Naaman the syrian that's why you wonder why don't i have breakthrough under every man of god find the one that is sent to you you are in a school there are many departments lecturers are walking in and out of different classes but you must ensure you are in the right class for the right lecturer to walk into that class if for instance you are a biology student and you go and sit down in home economics class as you are in that class the prophet the teacher there's a said will come and all you'll be saying though important but it's useless to you yes or true if you are for instance in architecture and you just like human anatomy even though you are a human being and the lecture in human anatomy will benefit you but the truth is that it is not relevant to your course of study is that correct that is how many people just walk into everywhere do everything they like do what they think do what they feel at the end of the day no effect because they are doing the wrong assignment my prayer is that god will open your understanding in the name of jesus christ but we have a responsibility we have what a responsibility to know what it takes to explain for of prophecy and this is all we are looking at in this month we have a clear responsibility that's why i said 20 minutes word 20 minutes practical we have our responsibilities what does it take for me to fulfill prophecy hosea 4 6 my people are destroyed not because the enemy is strong not because they are not good but because they lack knowledge of what to do remember the sons of Issachar had understanding the next thing they knew what to do my prayer is that at this particular time as you know what to do from today god will open up your doors in the name of jesus christ that amen is already asleep what are prophecies very clearly again prophecies are not religious wishes 
but the unfolding of divine plan it's not oh i wish you well you know before i made the prophetic word for shiloh many of you have seen many things in different i don't know who told you <laughs> turn around turning point turning point who told you <laughs> people are just broadcasting what they didn't tell them turning point turning point who turning point for you and where did you hear it from it's not religious wishes it's not what sounds nice or what sounds good is the unveiling of god's plan turning point looks good isn't it but it's not god's word it's not the exact word for the now joshua 21 verse 45 it looks good doesn't it you must have seen it during the week everywhere all of you are sharing this thing where you don't see it from the right source you find out who are the people sharing it you don't even know they say they say they say they say they say they say someone somewhere your pastor has not shared it you are sharing it we don't share it until we validate the source praise god did you see me share it no we don't share what we don't know the source I woke up in the morning, they say, if Papa was saying yesterday, they talked about turning point. I, I think Shilo is to a turning point. You don't think for God. You are lying to talk. Praise God. What did I just say? You don't think for God. You are lying to talk. What he said might be similar to what you know, but allow him to talk. Everybody want to go. Joshua 21, 45. And they failed not up. Want to go. Of any good thing who the Lord has spoken to us. They have said, all allow God to talk. That's prophecy. Not what you think. Not, hey, I wish you well, oh, the Lord be with you. Hey, what has God spoken? It might look very simple, but if it's God who spoke it. Do you know that Peter walked on water by one word? C-O-M-E. One word. One, see, come. And Peter, no, no prayer. No prayer. The come was original in the mouth of Peter. Peter said, if you are the one, tell me to come. And Jesus returned back the same word to him. C-O-M-E and he got out of the water and began to walk on water. From today as you do the simplest thing you have always known with understanding, God will ensure your prophetic word comes to pass. That amen has not gained the understanding. You know why I say allow God to talk? God speaks according to himself. Hello? God speaks what? According to himself. By myself. Isaiah 14, 24 everybody talks according to themselves God speaks according to what? himself by myself the Lord of hosts has sworn saying as I have thought so shall you come to pass as I have proposed so shall you stand God speaks according to himself doesn't delegate speaks according to himself Genesis 22 17 by myself hmm. that in blessing I will bless you in multiplying I will multiply you. Go to verse 16. Look at verse 16 now. Look at verse 16. And the Lord said, want to go by myself. By myself. I don't delegate anybody. Myself. Today, as you dance God's praise, God will come to, the world will come to pass in your life. So everything we have had is by God's self. Come on, say by God's self. Come on, say by God's self. Brothers and sisters, in conclusion, until a prophetic word is received, it will never get fulfilled. Until a prophetic word is received, it will never get, never, never, never. He said in 2 Peter 1, 19, say receive, receive, receive. We have a much until you receive, until the ground receives the seed, it cannot germinate and bear fruit. Verse 20, he said, you will do well. Where unto you will do well. Verse 19. You will do well if you believe. Verse 19. You will do well if you believe. You will do well if you take heed. As you will do well. It doesn't do well if it's not received. Praise God. I say praise God. We saw Abraham. He received the prophetic word that God was going to give him a child. He believed it. He believed it. Listen to this every prophetic word received ignites hope it ignites hope it lights hope in you who against hope that the year has ended though 60 more days to go that there was lockdown and curfew and protest coronavirus yet there is hope come and say there is hope Romans 4 18 against hope there is no hope in the natural city 
thing. In Nigeria, there's no hope. But in God, who against the hope? Believe you that I will still build my house this year. What? That I will still get settled in marriage this year. Yet that I will still graduate this year. What? There is no hope anywhere. But against hope, believed in Hawaii, prophetic word has gone ahead. My prayer is that no matter who has lost hope, prophetic word will bring back your hope. When prophets are believed, they stimulate joy and rejoicing. They stimulate joy, joy, joy. There is joy, joy, joy in the presence. You, the joy wells up on your inside. When you find God's word, it gives you joy. It inoculates joy into your soul. It imparts joy. Joy. Jeremiah 15, 16. I found the word. I ate it. Joy was the end point. Joy. 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 Abraham's story is a clear story of one who has lost hope. But when God spoke, Abraham believed and truly to, to see it come to pass he has to stand by faith he engaged the mystery of praise to see prophecy fulfilled my prayer is that as you engage the mystery of praise today your own prophetic word will come to pass Romans 4 verses 16 down to 20 against hope he was strong in faith giving glory to God verse 19 he was strong in faith giving glory to God fulfilled that prophetic word by visiting Sarah as he has said. My prayer is that exactly what God has said is what you will see come to pass in your life. In this service where barrier must break, no barrier will remain on your path. What are invisible barriers? Number one, they are unseen powers militating against the progress of your glorious destiny. They are unseen powers. You can't see them. They are real. Very real. Obviously real. They are unseen powers that is militating against your glorious destiny. First Corinthians 19, First Corinthians 16, 9. They are great door open, but there are many adversaries. So behind every advancement, there are adversaries. Number two, they are satanic installations resisting or hindering the blessing, the advancement of God's people. They are satanic installations. They are roadblocks. Satanic orchestrations on the path of life. Standing. Stopping. We saw that in Isaiah 45 verse 5 verse 1 to 3. And they are, number 3, they are wicked powers limiting people in certain areas of life. They are wicked powers limiting people in certain areas of life. Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. In the year King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the train filled the temple. From this phrase right now, you begin to see what God has in store for you. So our redemptive destiny is very clear that invisible barrier on our part can be cleared off. As individuals, as an individual, you can clear it off. The God of this world has blinded the mind of many that they will not see light. But for you, light has come for you. You have to deal with it as an individual. The physical barriers are very, very real. Matthew 13, 24, 25. He huh. said, a good man sowed good seed in his ground. But 25, while men slept, his enemy came. And so every man sleeps. It could be that by the time you are asleep, your enemy has planted tuberculosis, planted hindrances, planted limitation, planted backwardness. But today, now that you are awake, you will clear them off the paths. That amen can clear barriers. The next two minutes, seven covenant steps to breaking invisible barriers. Seven covenant steps to breaking invisible barriers. Number one, become and remain a child of light. Be born as a child of light and remain a child of light. First Thessalonians 5.5 5. Become and remain a child of light. Ye are children of light and children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Become. Be born again. Surrender to Jesus. Give everything up of darkness. Don't entertain darkness. Barriers are in darkness. 
Psalm 74, verse 19 and 20. Have respect unto your covenant for the dark places. Oh, deliver not the soul of thy turtle dove unto the mother of the wickedness. Forget not the congregation of the poor forever. Verse 20. Have respect unto your covenant for the dark places of the earth are full of wickedness. Leave darkness alone. Come out of darkness. Surrender your life to Jesus. Come into light and be illuminated. Number two, keep walking in the light of the world. Keep walking. Keep walking. Taking steps. Keep doing things in the light of the world. Keep taking steps. Keep walking in the light of the world. John 12, 35. As long as you are in the world, there is light. If you will not walk in darkness, you will not stumble. John chapter 12, verses 35. Jesus said, yet a little while is the light. Walk ye while you have light. Let darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth. By prayer that you keep walking in light. Number three, keep walking by faith. Keep walking by faith. If you can't faith it, you will fail it. If you don't faith it, it will fake. It will be fake in your life. If you don't want to fail, faith. If you don't want to fake, faith. Second Corinthians 5 verse 7. Keep walking by faith. Let your faith be alive. Active. We walk by faith. One to go, not by sight. Number four. Keep serving God and the interests of his kingdom. Keep serving God. Matthew 6 33. Serving God in church. Serving God with your offerings. Serving God with your tithe. Giving God number one place. Priority. Make a covenant. I must serve God in soul winning. No month must pass without me bringing my soul to God. Bringing a soul. No, I will hide my offering. I won't drop my tithe. I won't start complaining about church. Anything I can do, I will do. Serve God. And the thing that interests God. Number four. Number five. Be committed to a life of prayer and fasting. This week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we are fasting. Fasting on a daily basis. Fasting, fasting, fasting. Praise God. Be committed to it. Praise God. Matthew 17, 21. There is a kind that will not go except by prayer and fast. Number six, keep speaking boldly against all unwanted situations. Keep speaking boldly. Don't be quiet when you see the devil before you. Get out from here. Get lost. Speak boldly. You see barrenness, you speak against it. You see failure, you speak against it. They call you monkey banana. You say, stop right there. I'm not a monkey. Praise God. You say monkey, they walk, baboon, they chop. No, I'm neither a monkey or a baboon. I'm a human being with human dignity. Don't accept anything. Don't accept everything. Hmm. Luke 21, 15. I'll give you a mouth and a wisdom that your enemy cannot contradict. They cannot gain say. When you speak, your enemy must bow. Number seven, engage in praise as a lifestyle. Engage in praise. God has given us an instruction this month. Um, I'd like you to know that we are going to engage in a prophetic praise. We are going to be engaging in an 11-day prophetic praise journey fulfillment of prophecy beginning from today till the 11th of this month and I'm going to show you from scripture Psalm 23 Psalm 22 verse 3 God inhabits the praises of Israel so every time we sing God shows up to the scenario thou are holy you inhabit the praise of Israel you are holy you are holy now look at what God said Deuteronomy 1 verses 1 to 3 listen this it's not a praise for fun. Why I take notes? It's not a praise for pleasure. It's not a praise for excitement. It's a praise in obedience to God for fulfillment of prophecies. Everybody together who can read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side of Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over again the Red Sea, between Panam and Tophel and Leban and Zeharoth and Dizahab. One to go. They are 11 days journey from Horeb by the way of Mount what? Seir unto Kadesh Benair. Look at what happened. And it came to pass in the 40th year, in the 11th month, on the first day of the month, 
that Moses spoke unto the children of Israel, saying, According to all that the Lord had given you command unto this day. Listen to this. Do you know why they put number two in brackets? Eleven days by disobedience were turned to forty years. Something that should take you eleven years, eleven days to go, took them forty years to arrive. My prayer is that disobedience will not delay your journey. That if between now and the 11th of this month, every prophetic word for breaking limit would have been fulfilled in your life. Jump on your feet with a shout of glory. Lift your two hands to heaven. Receive grace for obedience. Receive grace for obedience. Receive grace for obedience. Receive grace to obey God in all things. Receive grace to obey God at such a time as this. Lord, I receive grace for this 11 days journey. This 11 days mantle. This 11 days praise. We are doing the rehearsal today. Today is the first day of the 11th month. But we don't want it on the 40th year. We want it on this 20th year. The year 2020. My prophetic word will not be prolonged to year 2060. Lift your voice. Receive grace. Receive grace right now. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Praise warfare. Tuesday, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Praise warfare. By Wednesday, we add fasting and prayer plus praise. It will come to pass with speed. Thursday, the same. Friday, the same. Then on the other day, we continue. We continue in home cell on Saturday. And on Sunday again, we continue. We are praising God for 11 days consistently. Don't ask God for anything. Praise Him for everything. I said, don't ask God for anything these 11 days. Praise Him for everything. Lift your voice. Begin to praise the Lord. Begin to worship the Lord. Thank you for the things He has spoken. Because you will see it come to pass. Thank you for the things He has said. You will see it come to pass. 11 days journey. We will arrive there in 11 days. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Listen to this very clearly. Isaiah 38 verse 19. Only the living can praise God. Only. Only the living can praise God. The living, the living, it shall praise you as I do this day. The dead, verse 20, the dead cannot praise God. The dead cannot praise God. I was ready to, he was ready to save me. Therefore, I will sing my praise all the days of my life. How do I know whether I'm alive? First John 5, verse 2. It says, he that had the son had life. He that had not the son had not life. All head bow and all eyes close. If you don't have Jesus in your life, there's no life. You are dead. Your praise will not amount to anything. All head bow. If you want Jesus in your life right now, you want to return to him, put your right hand on your chest and say this simple prayer with me. All head bow. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my heart to you. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior, as my life and my existence from today forward ever and backward never forever and ever amen and amen thank you father in jesus mighty name now i pray over you keep your hand on your chest lord let your mercy find this one let your grace deliver him in jesus mighty name your right hand is your chest can i ask you just lift up your left hand wherever you are god bless you lift it high god bless you lift it high lift it very high lift it very high god bless you in the name of you we're about to start up the action right now carry your bag and bible quickly meet me at the altar here something will be altered in your life very quickly quickly come quickly come quickly come jesus is calling quickly come brothers and sisters, is sharp sharp this is a motor of sharp sharp in praise god is a god of sharp sharp god wants to do this sharp sharp why i hope you are said hot praise violent praise sharp sharp something's happening please somebody stay there god wants to change everything sharp sharp quick action we are serving a quick action god we are going to give a hot solid vibrant praise a prayer that will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Somebody stay there who should have life. If you don't have Christ in your life, no matter the song you sing, it will make no sense. It will make no meaning to God. You are there, you need to grow. You need to return. When you return, it will restore. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we decree and declare your mercy and your blessing upon this one. We declare that your hand come upon them. That in the next 11 days, their story has changed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you in jesus mighty name thank you father lord i decree your good hand your help for these ones with that understanding <coughs> in jesus mighty name amen god bless you brothers you have made the best decision of your life i want to know that within the next 11 days you'll be a testimony to yourself I want to get your phone number your 
your your your prayer request so that we can follow you off from there the lord bless you please follow this man of god and you'll be back with us very quickly because we are set to pray how many people are ready to praise god now how many people want to praise god in the next six in the next three minutes Give God the kind of praise you have never given since the year began. Don't mind what has happened. Don't mind what is what they have told you is happening right now. Mind what God has said will happen. How many of you believe God in the, within the next eleven days? Their story has turned. Lift your two hands. Receive the garment of praise. Receive the garment of praise in the name of Jesus. Everybody, set. Glorious celebration. Oh, yeah. 
is right now every mental barrier between you and your mental success they break right now every economic financial social cultural barrier break right now in the name of Jesus every physical barrier of sickness and human and disease and disaster I cause them to break in the name of Jesus right Every prophetic word of breaking limit comes to pass in your life with speed. Amen. Every prophetic word of new life and turn around encounter because your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything God has spoken to you personally, privately, or to us as a church will come to pass in your life with speed. Amen. Now receive energy to praise God throughout the rest of this year. From today, good things will be happening that will make you praise God every day. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Remember, what we have just done now is inoculation. It's 11 days praise. Tomorrow, one hour, non-stop. From opening prayer to the end, one hour. So, seven solid praises. Seven, ten, ten, ten minutes. Hot, hot, hot. Sharp, sharp, sharp. As you enter... After the opening prayer, with the understanding you have received right now, you just enter the praise atmosphere and then begin to dig it, begin to dig it, begin to dig it, begin to dig it. And then before the 11 days over, you have arrived your destiny. Watch it. God cannot lie. And God has not lied to us. 11 days from now, your story has changed. In Jesus' mighty name. Congratulations. It's the month of November, the kind of month you have never seen in your life. Wonders unending. Wonders without number. And no carry over. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today is your very first Sunday. Worship with us here. Just wave your hand to Jesus, wherever you are. Today is your first. Wave it. God bless you. Wave it. Wave it. I mean, wave to Jesus. Not to me. Wave to Jesus. God bless you. Wave it to Jesus. Inside, outside. God bless you. Online. Carry your bag and Bible. There's a special final blessing for you here. And God bless you as you do. Please come. Brother come. Sisters come. God is here with you. Please, if you came late 10 minutes ago, you're already here for the second service. The Lord be with you. Don't go. Don't miss anything this first month of the month. God will bless you in Jesus' name. You also came late. Often have been received while you came. As you exit, you see people carrying the late offering tag and then drop your seed as you go. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Give you rest and peace. You will not lose anything this season. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Congratulations. Please follow this man of God. He will pass more information to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you. In Jesus mighty name. Go in peace. The prince of Lord go with you. In Jesus mighty name. Bring you back tomorrow with a testimony. God will give you new testimony this month. Your financial life, you will receive an alert today. In Jesus' mighty name. 
congratulate surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever Amen. Peace. It's my year of breaking limits. What eyes have not seen or yet shall be as brought to the year 2020. Congratulations. See you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow evening, 5 p.m. God bless you. Hallelujah. Choir. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh.
Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Verse 8, church. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the eating and punishment upon the people. Verse 8. To bind their kings with chains upon them. The judgment written, dishonor of all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. That shall be a testimony in Jesus' name. Clap your hands to Jesus. Smile your breaking limits. Shortly we shall be rising this morning to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let every power of the sea dragging my destiny into the sea release my destiny and die by fire. Let your amen show it. Isaiah 19 verse 5. And he said, and the water shall dry up from the sea. And the river shall be wasted, and they shall dry up. Somebody who is there to see this victory, rise to your feet this morning everywhere. As we join me in prayer, as we lift our voice together, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every bars of the sea drag in my destiny into the sea. Release my destiny now, and such power dies by fire. Lift your voice as we pray this morning with your hearts. And passionately, Father, and in the name of Jesus, O oh God our Father, let every pass of the sea drag in my destiny, O oh God, into the sea, release the destiny now, and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice as you pray with your heart, as you pray expectantly, Father, and in the name of Jesus, let every power of the sea. Dragging my destiny into the sea. Release my destiny now and die by fire. Oh God, our Father, we ask this morning in the name of Jesus. Let every power of the sea dragging that destiny of mine into the sea. I demand for quick release, for quick release in the name of Jesus. Oh God. And as they release my destiny, let such power, let them die by fire. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice this morning as you're praying on the Sunday. And in the language of the Spirit, Oh God, I stand on the victory in the name of Jesus. And I demand, I demand every power of the sea. Dragging my destiny into the sea. Release that destiny of mine. And let that power die by fire. Somebody is praying this morning. Lift your voice this morning. Somebody has to begin to give God thanks. With the confidence that you know that God has answered. Lift your hands everywhere. Appreciate Him. Give Him praise. So in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Celebrate Jesus and please be seated. Let your hands shake in the visible barrier service. We shall be interceding this morning also. We shall be saying, Father, let every evil uttered of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire in Jesus' name. I thought somebody had understanding this morning. Say, Amen. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. He said, No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And say, Every tongue that will rise against you shall condemn. Will this understanding rise to your feet this morning as you intercede this morning, pray, saying, Father, let every evil uttered of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice according to the word of the Lord. It shall no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Father, let every evil uttered of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every evil uttered of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire in Jesus name lift up your voice give him the glory that is due this morning lift up your voice is a close mouth is a close destiny 
lift up your voice and make God know this morning every evil utter in your father's ass that is crying against your success they shall die by fire they shall die by fire in Jesus mighty name father let every evil utter of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire in Jesus name let them die by fire lift up your voice as you begin to pray this morning manda lagaba shikala gabaya ezusia kleko dostia kadakla ezusia plakatia let your prayer be registered this morning you have come upon this mountain a mountain of transformation a mountain of transfiguration a mountain of answers prayer lift up your voice father let every evil utters of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire in Jesus name lift up your voice this is a mountain of answers prayer no prayer is beyond answering God God must answer prayer today he will serve a God that answers prayer father let every evil utters of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire die by fire in the name of Jesus la kuske hata le kopra kadia ezeke bregadia em blakatea it is those that do trust the lord they shall make exploits exploit on every side that is why we are praying against every evil utter in our father's house they shall die by fire father let every evil utters of my father's house crying against my success die by fire in Jesus name die by fire in Jesus name la gado soko blagadia and soko jukasia em balagada it's a who is it that say the thing that will come to pass when the lord have not said so that is why you must lift up your voice to stand to wage a war put up a fight by your prayer this morning father let every evil utter of my father's ass crying against my success die by fire in the name of Jesus let copra gadia now lift up my voice and begin to appreciate this good god thank you for answers prayer thank you for every evil utter that have been crying against your success that have died already lift up your voice thank you father to you alone be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus let your hand shut this morning take your seat in God's presence hallelujah it's my year of breaking limits Congratulations. Let's quickly listen to the epistle of, of the President Living Faith Church worldwide to all mission stations. And the subject is prophetic focus for November 2020. Breaking the mist greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to believe that God has delivered the master key to a world of breakthrough to every winner, including in our online worshippers in the course of the month of October. May this master key remain ever effectual in the hand of every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. But what is the Holy Ghost saying concerning this month of November 2020? As it is written, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. We recognize that every prophetic word, is a, every prophetic scripture is a sworn verdict. But any prophetic word we do not genuinely buy into do not get fulfilled in our lives. When we receive and believe any God sent prophetic word and align with what to do, we are bound to experience fulfillment of prophecy. However, most of the time, if allowed, the devil goes about to steal the word, the seed of the prophetic word from our life through the evil heart of unbelief. Satan will attempt to make every prophetic word look too simple to be true. And unfortunately, many are being deceived by this day in, day out. The good news is we can stop the devil by resisting him steadfastly in the faith and, go, and he, we have no choice but to flee. Our God is committed to the full delivery of the breaking limit prophetic package ordained for every winner for the year 2020. This is validated by fulfillment of the prophecy that went on before us regarding the planting of 10,000 new churches this year where as of today over 9,000 new churches have been planted. Across Nigeria, despite the COVID 19 lockdown, to God alone be all the glory. But praise is a covenant requirement for everyone to experience fulfillment of prophecy, as in the case of Abraham. Abraham was said to be strong in faith, giving glory to God to see prophecy fulfilled. We may understand from scripture that every child of God is the seed of Abraham, but we must do the works of Abraham to experience the blessing of Abraham. That is, to see prophecy fulfilled.
fulfilled, among others, they must engage in high praises, which we call praise warfare. Therefore, the prophetic focus for the month of November 2020 is praise, facilitate fulfillment of prophecy. One, two, go. Louder the most you can. Recommended books of the month authored by Dr. David Oyedepo includes Understanding the Power of Praise and Wonders of Praise. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord. David O. Oyedepo. Let your hands shout. It is my your breaking limit. In this invisible, breaking invisible prayer service is announcement time. Let's listen to the documented announcement. You are welcome to Living Faith Church, Ujemi, home of signs and wonders. Today is our breaking invisible barrier, which double as a prophetic entrance service. Via the world, today you shall receive an encounter of a lifetime in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We are all reminded of the diverse opportunities that this prophetic season carries. Therefore, we must endeavor to make the most of it by carrying the ark of revival in our heart as Obedidom did by remaining committed to praying for salvation of souls and reaching out with passion to them with the gospel and ensuring their establishment in the faith and in this church. As we do any or all of this, we shall be taking full delivery of our breaking limit prophetic package ordained for the year. May this season of revival turn every engaging winner into a living wonder in Jesus' mighty name. Number two, week of spiritual emphasis. Our week of spiritual emphasis for the month of November 2020, all this week. From Wednesday the 4th to Friday the 6th of November 2020. Remember, we shall be waiting on the Lord in a fast and break with the communion. The time is 5 p.m. Number three, Winner Satellite Fellowship. Our house to house fellowship comes up every Saturday. We are all expected to be part of this for another time of encounter. And the time is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Number four, church online testimonies. We are all required to send our testimony of the great acts of God in our lives so as to see them preserved multiplied and perfected to lfcujemi at yahoo.com Number 5. Recommended books for the month authored by Bishop David Oyedepo includes Understanding the Power of Praise Wonders of Praise and Number 6. Good News Next Sunday at Winners Chapel Ujemi 7th November 2020 shall be Next Levels Banquet which also double as our communion service. Somebody shout hallelujah. For the month of November 2020, come expecting an encounter of a lifetime with the world. The services remain the same. 6.30 a.m., the second service 8 a.m., and the third service 9.30 a.m. respectively. Remember, the best way to come to church is to come with someone for Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Clap your hands to Jesus. It's my year of breaking limit. It is testimony time. Let's quickly listen to these documented testimonies and be blessed. Number one, mysterious rats destroyed. I came to this church three Sundays ago. I repaired generators for years. My life was miserable. I trained a lot of people and when they have been through with their trainings, they did better than me. They marry with good homes. But for the past 27 years, I've been laboring without anything to show. I could have made a lot of money from my business and bring the money to my... I will make a lot of money from my business and bring the money to my house in the night. But by the following morning, the money will literally disappear. This continued for a long time. Nobody has the key to my house and my windows were not burgled. Yet, money continued to disappear all the time. At a point, I started keeping the money with my friend. And that was, and was
was able to save sizable sum. I then decided to get married since I was able to save. Two months after the wedding, my wife died. I went back to square one. When I came, when I came to this church, I saw my I gave my life to Christ and was given a package along other new converts. When I got home, I decided to keep I decided to stop keeping my money inside this package. But to my surprise, my money no longer get lost in the house. One morning, I, find I found dead two long-mouthed rats dead in the corner of my room around the location of this package, which now serves as my service. That same morning, I received the news that two of my uncles died in the village. From that day to date, my money no longer disappeared mysteriously in my house. I give the glory to the God of winners. I thought somebody would jam their hands for the Lord. The testifier is ex Moses. Let's listen to second documented testimony. Arrow returned back to sender. I am a new convert on Sunday. I attended service for the first time in Cana land. During the service, I took a shot of the anointing oil as instructed by Bishop Oyedepo. At 4 a.m. the following morning, I had stomach ache and went to the toilet. There I vomited a live fish and two padlock. Surprisingly, an uncle who did not know where I lived before knocked the door at 5 a.m., came in and packed the items I vomited. Then he criticized me for being born again. The following day, I took another shot of the anointing. Thereafter, I received a call from Benin Republic that one of the four daughters of that my uncle had died. I, also to, I was also told that the other three daughters confessed that they were responsible for my afflictions. Presently, one of them is paralyzed. I give God all the glory. The testifier is Daniel Victor, who is the next in line to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Please, can you clap that hands for the wonderful testimony you have heard? Hallelujah. It's my year of breaking limits. Praise God. Let's quickly listen to this epistle from the President Living Faith Church worldwide, declaring Shiloh 2020. Breaking limit greetings in the name of our Jesus, name, name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We serve the turn around God. We have a turnaround savior. Our God turned the captivity of his children as a dream of the night. Our God specializes in turning ordinary individuals into wonders among men. God's turnaround agenda for his children is not the once and for all events, but the once and again experience. There are no ceilings on our destiny as believers. It is one, it is not. It is one encounter after another that engenders turnaround after another. For every turnaround experience in life is a clear, clearly a product of an encounter with God. From scriptures, we understand that we are redeemed to a turnaround world after the order of Christ. Also, an open door that shall not be shut day or night is a proof of God's turnaround agenda for his children. But it is by applied revelation that we express turnaround agenda for our lives. As believers, we are not permitted to be stranded like others who do not know God because we have been redeemed as peculiar people on the earth. As it is written, the part of the just is like a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Therefore, the theme of Shiloh 2020 is turnaround encounters. Louder, clearer, turn around and counter. Psalm 1 to 6, verse 1 to 6. Shiloh 2020 shall be a mountain of diverse encounters, resulting in supernatural turnaround in all areas of life for every participant. Every winner must endeavor to be at Shiloh 2020, either on ground here at Canaan Land or across any of our viewing centers around the world. Note, that all our churches across the nations, cities, towns, and villages shall serve.
staff has been sent out during Shiloh 2020. Looking forward to seeing you at Shiloh. Come Tuesday, December 8th to Sunday, December 13th, 2020. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord. David O. Oyedebo. Shout again with your hands. And for Jesus, why not celebrate Jesus? It is my year of breaking limits. In this service, it is an offering time. Please package those seeds that God Himself has given to you. While you are doing that, you must know and understand that one thing that we do willingly is to rejoice always in His presence. That's why, from the scripture, we are made to understand that whenever we offer the seed that God has given to us, God has the ability to multiply it. That's why he said, let the earth praise thee, O God. And what will happen? The earth will yield an increase if the people praise him. With that seed in our hand, let us go to our feet, our offering, our tithes, and every other covenant seed that you are laying in your heart to give to God our Father, which Jesus joined in your heart, raise it above your head, and for those following us online, on the screen is the detail of our giving channel. And for those of us here, you want to use your mobile app, on the screen is the detail of our giving channel. Raise those seeds above your head with a rejoicing heart in this for the past 11 months. It is God that has kept us. Lord, we have come with a heart of appreciation to say thank you for the increase, to say thank you for the turnaround. As we lay this seed as a seed of sacrifice, let us encounter that encounter that will change our life for good in the name of Jesus. Church, cast those seed with Jesus' joy while the choir minister. Glory, 
on the first day of November. 60 more days ahead of you for 2020 to end. It's your season of change of story. Your season of change of status. Everything limiting the prophecy of the year for you is clearing off the way. Lift up your two hands. Everybody. Lift up your two hands. Everybody. Lift your two hands and begin to receive grace to go ahead. Grace to change level. Grace to make progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace to enter another grade in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord for the month of November. Great things that you have never seen before is taking place in your life. Now, today is the door breaking invisible barrier. As Jeremiah 51, verse 20, you are my battle axe. I'll use you to break. Thou art my battle axe, my weapon of war. For with you will I break in pieces the nation. Lift your voice and begin to ask the Lord to break in pieces every limitation every hindrance, every limitation, every limitation, every imitation, God wants to use you to break down. You are his battle axe. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. You are his battle axe. Lift your voice. Lord, by this service this morning, break in pieces. Break in pieces. Every barrier, visible, invisible. Lift your voice right now. You are my battle axe. Accept that responsibility. Father, by this service this morning, break every barrier. Verse 21, with you, I will break in pieces the horses and their riders. I will break in pieces the horses and their riders. And with thee, will I break in pieces the chariot and their riders. Every principality, every power, Every wickedness of the wicked, every machination of hell, limitations of wickedness, lift your voice, imitation, barriers of darkness, in the name of Jesus, satanic obstacles, lift your voice, every roadblock mounted on your path, every satanic checking point, checking what does not consign them, clear them off now, clear them off now, every barrier, every hindering spirit, every limiting spirit, every manipulating spirit, every frustrating devil, every spell, every enchantment, every cause, every monitoring device, monitoring your progress, tracking your mo progress, every ancestral cause, every ancestral spirit, lift your voice right now, break those barriers, break those barriers, break those barriers, break those barriers, clear them off the way, thank you Jesus. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your two hands. Every man or woman that has stood as a barrier to your progress, they are broken in pieces right now. 
every force and system and legislation that has stood between you and your promised land, they break by fire right now. Everything planted in your life and lineage that is making me when they get to a certain age to begin to go around in circles, I cause that invisible barrier to break right now. Every limit of quarreling, bitterness, fighting in your marriage, in your relationship, in your finance, in your family, they break in pieces in the name of Jesus. He said, With thee also will I break in pieces, man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces, old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces, the young men and the maid. Everyone who is being used by Satan. To remote control your life to make you see damage at the end of a breakthrough i cause them to die now in the name of jesus and from today prophecy will fulfill in your life in the name of jesus christ every evil shepherd taking your sheep to eat bad pasture i cause their employment in the name of jesus christ Everyone harvesting bitter herbs for you to eat. Everything harvesting bitter, evil grain for you to eat and be poisoned. I cause them to be poisoned in the name of Jesus. Now lift up your voice. Ask the Lord, send me your word for the month of November. The word that will keep me on. The word that will keep me going. The word that will keep me warning, running, changing levels in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's get seated. It's my year of breaking limits. Congratulations. The month of November 2020 has been defined and declared to us that praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. Every prophetic work concerning you all will come to pass. That amen would have been better and brighter. Prophecies are to our advantage. Praise God. Prophecies are divine advantage. That a lecturer is your friend is an advantage. Good friend, not bad friend. I have been in a class before where the lecturer is like maybe a relative. And I was the one who marked the question paper or the answer, the exam of my class. And you know, even if you're Olodo, in Jesus' name, you can't fail that kind of class. Praise God. Uh, all you need to do is take another blank sheet. If you have seen the person who scored the highest, you just rewrite your own exam. Praise God. As you are marking. Praise God. <laughs> uh, that is what it looks like when you have an advantage. Although it's not every time. How many times will you have lecturer as your friend? Uh, so... That kind of advantage is rare in Jesus' name. I didn't say that's what I did though, but I'm just telling you that that's a possibility. Praise God. God is your friend. You know, God is your friend and police is your friend. They are not the same. <laughs> you know, God is your friend. It's sure. And police is also your friend. But two of them are not at the same level at all. Amen. This month, may God be your friend. And may police also be your friend. <laughs> you don't want to say amen. <laughs> okay, okay. Prophecy will be your friend. <laughs> Some of you, the way you hate police, eh? <laughs> it's God that will help you. Understanding how praise facilitates movement of prophecy. Part 1B. Understanding how praise facilitates movement of prophecy. Part 1B. I'm going to be making some clear statements in this service that will help you to understand clearly that like one, the blessedness of the word in our lives is based on understanding. If what I will say this morning will bless you is based on understanding. If what I will read from Bible at any day in any time will be a blessing to anyone to be based on understanding. The blessedness of the word in our lives is based on understanding. In Matthew 13 from verse 19 down to verse 23, it gives us a clarity about the parable of the sower. When one heareth the word of the kingdom, one and understandeth it not, 
then opportunity has come for the wicked one to come and catch away that which he was sown in his heart. This he received. This is he who received the seed by the wayside. But just go straight to verse 23. You will now see the blessedness of life. He said, He that I received the word in good ground is he that heareth the word and the next thing with the word understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some hundredfold. You will bring forth hundredfold. That amen is not your own. That is to say, our profit in the house of God is predicated by understanding. Our profit in the house of God is predetermined or predicated by understanding. Proverbs 21, 16. Proverbs 21, 16. A man that wanders out of the way of understanding, he shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's why one major assignment of pastors, Jeremiah 3, 15 and 16, is to give you understanding, is to feed you with knowledge, to feed you with understanding. That's one major assignment of, that's why if you are under a pastor and you are not growing in knowledge, you are not growing in understanding, something is wrong. Something is wrong. If you cannot meet up with what was said last Sunday, and merge it with this Sunday, and by the end of three months, you should be able to turn to yourself and say, ah, my life has changed though. Something has, I used to be angry before, but now. I used to be careless before, but now. I used to be wayward before, but now. I used to be um, uncoordinated before, but now. I was unprayerful before, but now. I can't keep before, but now. I don't win so before, but now something must have dropped to upgrade your life. If you are in church for one year and you don't grow, something is wrong with you. You are either not in the right place or you don't have the right heart. Praise God. Two things. You are either in the wrong place or your heart is wrong. That you can be doing all that is right but yet with the wrong heart. Remember Acts 8 18 to 21. He did what was right. And when Simon saw that true laying of hands of the apostles was in church and was given, the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money. Offering time is not money time. He did the right thing. And when Simeon saw him, he said, your money perish with you. What? How can you be cursing somebody who is giving offering? Verse 19. Peter, when he said, he said, your money perish with you. You thought the gift of God can be bought with money? What was the problem? Verse 21. Your heart is not right in this matter. Your heart is not right in the sight of God. So, you can be in the heart of God. If your heart is not right, you won't grow. No matter the rema, no matter the revelation, you won't grow. You won't grow. Second Chronicles 25, verses 2. Amaziah did all that was right in the sight of the Lord but not with a perfect heart. So, I can say dance now, you are dancing, but your heart is wrong. So, you don't say, you know what, no profit. I can say shout now, you shout. Yet, at the end of the day, no profit. I can say give now, you gave. At the end of the day, no profit. You not be wondering, what is the problem? Heart is the problem. Praise God. What does I say is the problem? Heart. Because it says the heart, understanding is born. Understanding is born in the heart. So if your heart is wrong, understanding cannot arrive. Praise God. Let me say it this way. Have you ever hated somebody before to the point of resentment? There's nothing they do that interests you. Have you been to a place that everybody's laughing? Somebody just said, Everybody's like, <laughs> Somebody just boom. What are you talking about? That's the truth. Heart is disconnected. That is, you are in total, um, should I say, antagonist with somebody. You are against somebody. No matter what the person does, it won't trust you. Never. You have been, man, you have been managing it. Managing it. You are doing the right thing, but not with the right heart. Hearing the same thing, no revelation, no interpretation. But I know 
this month, life will be better for you. That amen looks as if you are very angry with God. Brothers and sisters, better life springs from understanding. Better life springs from understanding. Better results springs from understanding. Better marriage springs from understanding. Better life. Life is bettered by understanding. How do we know the difference between an A student and an F student? Understanding. Understanding. You wrote an exam, you don't understand. You fail it. You are doing a job. Some people are doing jobs, they don't understand the job. Oh. That's why I can go to mechanic. You'll be the one telling you what to do. He is a mechanic by profession. He doesn't know what to do. Okay, check fuse now. Okay. <laughs> no, not that one. Check this number 38. Okay. It's his job, but you're the one show him. Okay, check the, the crankshaft now. The noise I'm hearing. Okay. He enter on that. Proverbs 16:22. Understanding is the wellspring of life to them that have it. If you want life to be well with you, if you want things to go well with you in every matter, please look at it. Anything, anywhere, please, sir, this is it. Nobody hated chemistry. Nobody hated biology. It's just that you didn't understand it. Praise God. The same course you failed. Somebody got it all. The same. Because you didn't understand it. That is where hatred comes from. I don't understand what they are doing in this place. So I don't understand. By many of series of many understanding. I beg. Don't like this place. No. The moment you understand it, you shake your head and you say, okay, I see. Were you blind before? No. <laughs> Am I saying something this morning? Understand it. Better life. Understand it. That's why when people are having problems, one of the major simple things they say, we have misunderstanding. Have you ever had it before? In a relationship, I'm having misunderstanding with my husband, with my wife. Miss. That is, you missed it somewhere in understanding. You miss out. Everybody who has missed, return back to normal. That's how it is. That's how it is. Majority of the problem, 98% is misunderstanding. If you understand it, it's okay. And if care is not taken, pride, when pride enters, you can't return back. You can't return and say, no. Even the understanding that I won't agree, I won't agree, I won't agree, I won't agree. Stay there. Fail. When you fail, finish. You still come back to write it. Praise God. Understanding better life. I like you to know clearly this morning we are looking at understanding how. Understanding how. Praise. Facilitate with word of prophet. Because if you don't know how to connect, um, you will quickly disconnect. Praise turns God on in our matters. What did I just say? Praise turns God on in our matters. Praise. Praise I mean it's not song. It's not song. No. No. Let me quickly define this so that we won't get missing. Somebody say, I don't know how to sing. No sir, you are still in order. You can still praise. Listen to this. Real songs of praise, listen, is actually word songs. Let me say it again. Real songs of praise is actually word song. Word, word. Psalm 56 verse 4 and verse 10. So now whether you know how to sing or not is not there. Listen to this. In God I will praise his word. Two. In God I will put my trust I will not fear what flesh can do to me. Verse 10. Clearly, in God will I praise his word. In God will I put my trust. In God I will praise his word. In the Lord will I praise his word. So, real songs of praise are word song. Word. The next thing I'm about to say is that singing his word is trusting in God. Huh. Singing his word is trusting in God. In God do I praise his word. Verse 6 verse, uh, 60, what? Isaiah 50, Psalm 56 verse 4. In God do I put my trust. So singing his word is trusting in God. Praise God. So, praise turns God on in our matters. My prayer is that as you begin to sing his word, God will come on in your matter. That amen. 
is not you anymore. What is prophecy? Prophecy is the unfolding of God's counsel for a person or a place. Prophecy is the unfolding of God's counsel for a person or a place. Jeremiah 1, 5 to 10. Before I formed you as a person, I knew thee. And I have already ordained you to be a prophet. Before I, I'm only telling you now. But before I formed you, I knew thee. And this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Till verse 10, verse 11 and verse 12. And we hasten my word to perform it. The unfolding. The unfolding. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the thought I think towards you. Personal. Personal. They are thought of peace, not of you. It will give you an, an expected end. Before you began the journey, the direction, the destination was already designed and determined by God. All you need to do is discover it and walk in it. Prophecy. Before the year 2021, God has already gone ahead of us to clear the storms. The unfolding of God's counsel for a person or a place. Haggai chapter 2, verse 6 to 9. Haggai chapter 2, verse 6 to 9. He said, I will shake the heavens. Yet once, little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations. The day of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with my glory, said the Lord. Verse 8. For the gold is mine, the silver of mine, said the Lord. Look at verse 9 clearly. The glory of this little house, talking about the place, shall be greater than that of the former, said the Lord of all. And in this place, I will give peace, said the Lord. May God give you peace in this place. Listen to me. God give you peace in this Nigeria. Everywhere you live, may you experience peace there. God telling you that there's a place where you give peace. So all you need to do, enter the place and you'll be at peace. My prayer that you step into a prophesied peaceful place in the name of Jesus Christ. Scripturally, we have two main sources of prophecy. Two. Prophecy comes from two main sources. Number one is the book of prophecy. The book of prophecy. Come on, say book of prophecy. Revelation 22, verse 7, verse 9, and verse 10. Book of prophecy. This Bible, the another name for this Bible is book of prophecy. Come on, say book of prophecy. Revelation 22, 7, 9, 10. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Verse 9. For them, then said he unto me, See that thou do it not. For I am the one of the fellow servant and of the brethren, the fellow prophet, of that that keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. Verse 10, loud and clear. And he said unto me, See not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. My prayer is that whatever I have written here will come to pass in your life. Number two, we have. God sent prophet. Second way that we receive prophecy is God sent prophet. God sends prophet in every dispensation. Every. Every. John 8 29. My father who sent me. Nobody just comes. I didn't just come. I'm sent. He that sent me. <laughs> Revelation 22 verse 6. Sent. God sends prophet. Romans 11 verse 13. Sent. And he said, these are the saying of the prophet. And the Lord and the holy prophet sent. Angel, sent. Prophet sent. Can come with the word of the Lord. Romans 11 verse 13. But the truth is this. We have a responsibility to know what to do to see prophecy fulfilled in our life. We have a responsibility. God has spoken. Like we have had, no prophecy is fulfilled by the validity of the source, but by the solidity of the faith of the recipient. You that received it, what do you do with it? Isaiah 5 verse 13, my people are destroyed because they lack knowledge. Not because Satan is strong and God is weak. Knowledge is the link. Knowledge is the link. What are prophecies? Very clear. Listen to this. Prophecies are not psychological permutation. They are sworn verdicts. It's not what we look at and say, what will next year look like? Turn around encounters 2021, okay? Breaking limit 2020. No, it's not permutation, it's not combination. It's not looking for rhythms, it's not looking for rhymes. It's 
is a sworn verdict. Isaiah 14, 24. The Lord of hosts are sworn. It's God say, hey, I swear. The Lord of hosts, therefore, Isaiah 14, 24. The Lord of hosts are sworn, saying, surely, as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I purpose, so shall it come. God swear. May God bring his word to pass in your life with speed. That amen is not looking like you anymore. You know why? God speaks according to his size and his self. God speaks according to his size. God is obada bada, bigger than the biggest, greater than the greatest, stronger than the strongest. He speaks according to his size and himself. He says it's the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Ephesians 1 23. God fills everything. Ephesians 1 23. God speaks according to himself. God speaks according to his size. The Lord of hosts. Isaiah 43 verse 23. By myself. Isaiah 45 verse 23. By myself. The size of God can fill anything. He that sits in the heavens. But until a prophetic word is received, it is never fulfilled. Until the prophetic word is received and believed, it is never fulfilled. We heard that the word of God is prophecy and the word of God is seed. Luke 8 11. Luke 8 11. The seed is the word of God. Verse 15. This seed has to be received for it to bear fruit. But he on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart having had the word keep it and bring forth fruit with patience every prophetic word you are receiving for this year will come to pass with speed that amen is not looking like you anymore now two things happens when you receive prophetic word hope comes alive when prophetic word are received one hope comes alive who for the joy, who for the hope, hope comes alive. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19, hope comes alive. Hope is ignited. That by two immutable things in which, what? Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, which entered in that which within the veil. Hope comes alive. Number two, joy and rejoicing is born. Joy and rejoicing. Every time you receive a prophetic word, joy and rejoicing is born. Joy. Joy. Psalm 119 verse 162. I rejoice at thy word as one that find grace voice. There's a word you will hear. It will turn you on. I rejoice at thy word as one that find grace for So anytime the word of God is found, it spurs joy. It stirs joy. That's why Isaiah 51 verse 11. Therefore, the redeemer of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion. And everlasting joy shall be on their head. They return because it's a word. My prayer is that you return this year with testimony. That amen would have been stronger and better. We saw how Abraham received the prophetic word and engaged praise to see it come to pass. He received it. He engaged praise. The Bible says we should follow examples. Hebrews 6, 12. Be followers of those who faith and patience obtain. Let us look at the example of Abraham. Be not slothful, but followers of those who through faith and patience obtain the promise. Abraham received a prophetic verdict that went concerning that God was going to give him a son. Genesis 17, 4 to 8. He laughed. He laughed. Yet, he was faithful. By chapter 18, verse 9 to 14, the Lord had visited Sarah because Abraham received it. But Abraham had to engage the mystery of praise to see this prophecy come to pass. Let's look at it clearly. Romans 4, quickly, 16 to 22. Let's look at what Abraham did. So that you don't just sit down and say one day, one day to come to pass. That 
that's not the song of praise. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that which only, but to that which is to come, but also that which is of faith of Abraham, which is the father of us all. Verse 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before whom may believe. Even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were. Verses 18. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so shall I say be. Verse 19. Loud and clear. And being not weak in faith, consider not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old. Neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Verse 20 together. And he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to Can you shout a loud glory to God? It doesn't matter what you have lost this year of coronavirus, you will recover all before the year's over. It doesn't matter what you have lost due to the protest and the panic in the nation, you will recover all by the peace of praise in the name of Jesus. God fulfilled his heart desire by visiting Sarah with a child as he said. Listen to me. As we sing God's song, whatever God said, you will see it come to pass. That amen is not you anymore. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I like to climax by saying praise is an expression of strong faith in God. Praise is an expression of strong faith in God. Faith is a praise is an expression that something is biting you you are still singing song. It's not when you are happy. Songs of praise is not only when you are happy. Even when you are pained, you can still praise. Even when nothing seems to be available, you, that is when the real song, that is the display of your faith in God. My prayer is that God will give someone grace to engage. Job 13, 15. Even if he slay me, I will yet trust him. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 and 19. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, there is no testimony at all in my life this year. Yet, I will rejoice. And as I'm doing that, God is making me stronger and stronger. And then by verse 19, I've taken up to my high places. Between now and the next 11 days, someone will enter his next levels. That amen does not look as if you're a true believer. God has given us an instruction of praise in the next 11 days. And I read that Deuteronomy, 20, Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1 to 3. That Israelite journey was prolonged due to disobedience, due to disagreement, due to misunderstanding. This be the word which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side in the wilderness, in the plain over and again the Red Sea, between Panam and Tophel and Leban and Hezeroth and Bizahad. They are 11 days journey from where they are to the promised land. But it took them 40 years. It came to pass in the 40th year. What was supposed to be 11 days? They didn't reach there until 40 years. No one will delay your journey. Your attitude and character will not delay your journey. What shall we do from this day now? In order not to delay, look at verse 3. On the first day of the 11th month, the very first day, they began the journey. Today, we shall begin our praise journey for fulfillment. And I know, as we praise God with understanding, everyone's promised land, you will assess it. I say you have first your financial promised land. Now we are pleasing God. Is God we want to please? Listen to this. Praise pleases God. Huh. That's another mystery. What did I just say? Praise pleases God. Number two. God pleases men who please him. Hmm. Praise pleases God. Number one. Two. God pleases men who please him. You don't understand the grammar. If you please me, I can place you anywhere I want. If you displease me, I can also displace you anywhere I like. From scripture, in case you don't understand, Psalm 69, verses 30 and 31. 
someone will please God this month. So the, in the next 11 days, you are not asking for anything. You are pleasing God. And if you can please God, what happens? He will place you. God will place you in your own right level. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 69, verses 30. Everybody want to go. I will praise the name of the Lord with a song. And I will magnify him with thanksgiving. What will he do? This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock. So, as you are shaking your body, dancing your prayer, dancing your way, you are pleasing God more than anybody having offering in his hand. And Proverbs 16 verse 7, when a man's praise pleases the Lord, hallelujah, he will have no more enemies. From today, your enemy will support you for your projects. Listen to me. Your enemy's resources will be used to finance your project. You didn't understand it again. I said what your enemy has stocked up for the year, God will deposit it to your account in the name of Jesus. If your amen is louder and allowed to enter your phone this morning. When a man's praise pleases God, that is not every praise pleases God. Endeavor to please God. That's where we, we, we all we are doing on Sunday is inoculation. Monday we are going for one hour praise. How many hours? One hour. In the midst of that one hour, it must praise God. It, my aim is to please God in the next eleven days. Come on, say I must please God. That's my aim. That the next eleven days they displease God. That was why their journey was elongated. If you can please God. It will place you on the fast lane of life. I see speed coming for someone here. Everything you have lost on January, recover all. Everything that is missing in your family, discover all. Let your amen be thunderous like fire. Praise pleases God. And God places men. And so it's left to you. Do I want to please God? It's left to you. It's your choice. So that when your neighbor is dancing like this, you they look and they watch as uh, you are the one, you are the cinema, you are watching. You say, ah, see this guy, don't they sweat. It's better you sweat it out so that God can sweeten your life. It's better you sweat it out so that God can sweeten your life. Praise pleases God. And all we are doing this month is practical. And the next 11 is the divine assignment. God said it is 11 day journey of praise for prophecy fulfillment. So it's choice. If you want to come, you come. One hour. From 90 to the 11th, one hour. Next Sunday is next levels. I want to gallop levels. All the level I've missed this year, I want to get them in place. So we we'll just come opening prayer and then choir is changing, changing gear, changing gear. We must dance until you are soaked. Soak with latter rain. Soak with the first rain. And then as you are going home, God will be speaking. You'll be hearing. And God will be fulfilling his plan for your life. Come on, say, I will please God. How many of you are interested in pleasing God? We're in the very last days of the month, of the year. 60 days ahead of us for the year to end. No carryover. I say no carryover. So remove everybody from your shoulder. There's no problem that God cannot carry. You don't carry problem. Don't ask God for anything the next 11 days. Praise God for everything. What did I just say? Don't ask God for anything the next 11 days. Praise God for everything. And as you do that, no barrier will remain on your path. What are invisible barriers? They are real. They are forces behind the physical suffering of people. Huh. Invisible barrier are what forces behind the physical suffering of people. Physical limitation have forces behind it. You think your lack of money is normal. It's not normal though. There are forces limiting it. God has said you are a prosperous champion. Your seed will be prosperous. Why are you not prosperous? Forces. In my life, I won't see this one prosper. No. God has said your family shall be a star in the, in the, in the land. The devil say no, 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 this one can't. You may think it's normal. That fighting and quarreling, you think it's normal. It's not normal. Forces are behind it. That tension you are suffering, it's not normal. There's a devil behind it. There's a devil behind the tension. Zechariah chapter 1, 17, 18, 19. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Invisible barriers. Every day quarrel, every day fight. There are forces. It's because you have not sat down. 
somebody has malaria he goes to the hospital they check his blood under microscope there are things your eyes can't see that microscope will see that is what is wrong with the person every other person knows your body is hot but they don't know what makes your body hot another person will take your blood and check your blood and say what is making your body too hot is in your blood whatever is in your blood that is blocking your destiny they are cleared off in the name of Jesus listen to this prophecy now because it's what everybody wants cry here saying thus said the Lord my cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion and shall choose Jerusalem is that not the prophecy then I lifted up my eyes instead of me to be happy I saw four horns yeah. uh, I said to the angel ah, this is not what you told me now what are these they say he answered these are the four horns one that have scattered Judah what scattered Israel what scattered Jerusalem what is the purpose they answered and said and show me four carpenters 21 loud and clear then said I ah, what come this to do and he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up their head. Come on, say, God forbid. But these are come to free them, to cast off the horns of the Gentiles, who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter. Whatever is scattering you, I shatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. That amen is not a believing amen. These are horns. That have come to shatter. You are supposed to lift your head. They say if you lift it, we'll cut it. Every head hunter in your family, every head hunter in your village, every head hunter in your department, hunting your head, I cause them to die in the name of Jesus. There is, there is what we call head hunters. They will not see your head. They will not hunt your head. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. They are hunting. Any head. They say so that no man matter who you are, we not lift your head. You marry, you can't stay married. You have children, you can't rest. You eat, you can't rest. You get a job, you can't stay there. They are just there frustrating people from this invisible barrier service and within the next 11 days, all of them will run out of your life in the name of Jesus. They are everywhere. So don't say my own family, not, uh, stay there. They are only waiting for you to rise very high so that they, if they aim, they won't miss. But this time around, they will miss seven covenant steps to break invisible barrier. We have only two minutes remaining. Number one, be saved and lighted. Be saved and lighted. John 1, 1 to 5, 8 and 9. Be saved, be born again, become a child of light. Be given birth by light. He said this is it that are giving us. John chapter 1, verse 12. He said we are born again by the will of God. Not the will of man. We are born again by the will of God. You are born by light. Chapter 5, uh, verse 5 tells us that this is the light that lighted every man. The light shineth in darkness. Be saved and lighted. Remain in the light. Be a child of light. Verse 9. Say, this is the true light that lighted everybody. So be lighted. Come on, shall be lighted. Number 2. Keep your light on and walking. Keep your light on and walking. Keep your light on and walking. Some lights are on, but they are not working. Uh -huh. All of this bulb here, all of them are on, but this one is not working. So it's one thing for your light to be on, so not even for you to be on, working. Sometimes your headlamp in your car is on, but it's not working. Praise God. So don't just let light be on. Ensure it's working. Joel, Job 29, verse 3. Job 29, verse 3. First Peter, First Timothy 6, 16. When his candle shine upon me, and by his light, I walk through darkness. By his light. God has a light. Use his light. His light is full beam. He said, whom have immortality, dwelling in the light, which no man can approach unto. Dwelling in the light. Number three, keep your faith active. Keep your faith active. Luke 145. Blessed is she that believeth. There shall be a performance. Hebrews 11, 11. By faith, Sarah receives strength. Keep your faith active. Number four, Remain a servant of God. Remain a servant of God. Serve God. Serve his kingdom. Serve his interest. Romans 6, 16. Anyone you your servant to, is servant you are to obey. Romans 6, 16. Exodus 23, 25 and 26. Number four. Be fervent in prayers and fasting.
fasting. Be fervent. Be fervent. Let your, fa let your fire be hot. Romans 12, 11. Be fervent in prayers and fasting. Romans 12, 11. Be committed to a life of prayer. Be not slothful in business. Fervent in spirit. Serving the Lord. Luke 18, 1. Men ought always to pray and never to faint. Number 6. Speak to mountains to move. Get out of the way if I believe. Speak to mountains to move. Don't watch mountains. Don't watch negative circumstances. Speak what you want. Don't say what you see. Say what you want to see. Mark 11, 23 and 24. Mark 11, 23 and 24. If you can say to this mountain, Mark 11, Mark 11, 23 and 24. Mark 11, 23 and 24. Speak to every mountain to clear. And finally, number seven. Wear praise as a garment regularly. Wear praise as a garment. The same way you can never come out of your house without cloth, whether underwear or overwear. Wear praise as a garment. Don't jump it. If you remove one cloth, you put on another one. Don't let praise cease from your mouth. Psalm 34, verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue. Is there any day of your life, apart from when you are beaten, that you are not wearing clothes? Wear praise as a lifestyle. Nobody must catch complaint in your mouth. Isaiah 61 verse 3. You want barrier to break and keep breaking. You know why? You can't see them. The person you are quarreling with might be the instrument for breaking the barrier. That's why you mustn't be quarreling with anybody. Don't have a problem with any physical person you can see. To appoint to them that morning in Zion. To give unto them beautiful ashes. The oil of joy for morning. One to go. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaven earth, that he may be called feast of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Will you jump on your feet with a loud shout? Lift your two hands to heaven because your story is about to turn. Everything is turning in your favor. Lift your two hands. Lift your voice. Again and again, your breakthrough is here. Again and again, your testimony is here. Again and again, things are turning for your advantage. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. And give God thanks because your own turn, your own turn around is here. Your own breaking limit, your own breaking limit testimony is already here. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this as we close. Not every praise is heard by God. Isaiah 38 verse 18 and 19 Only the living can praise God Only It's not just singing sir It is God being in tune with what you are saying Isaiah 38 verses 18 and 19 For grave cannot praise thee Death cannot celebrate thee They that go down to the pit cannot hope for the truth Verse 19 The living Only the living shall, As I'm doing right now The children and make known their truth how do I get alive? First John 5, 12. He that had the son had life. And he that had not the son had not life. Until Jesus is in your life, your praise is noise before God. All head bar and all eyes closed. I want life. I want Jesus kind of life. I want my praise these 11 days to make sense to God. I don't want to sweat and waste my energy. Lift up your voice. Put your right hand in your chest. Everyone who wants life, real life, all head bow. All eyes closed, online on ground. Say this simple prayer with me in sober surrender. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my heart to you right now. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Forward ever, backward never, forever and ever. Right now, give me a new life. Give me a new hope. I live for you forevermore. My praise will be accepted to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Leave your hand on your chest. Father, mercy. Let your mercy of this message translate everyone's mess into a turnaround. In Jesus' mighty name. Your right hand is your chest. Please, may I ask you to lift up your left hand wherever you are. God bless you. Lift it high. God bless you. Lift it very high. God bless everybody. Lift it high. Very high. Everyone who is prayed that prayer, lift it very high. I want to release one mantle upon you right now that will damage every battle of your life. 
right now father thank you in jesus mighty name. your hand is lifted your hand is lifted. please come carry your bag and bible meet me here at the altar very very quickly god is the god of sharp sharp when it comes to praise god is sharp sharp please come everyone lifted out everyone hand on their shirt please come quickly quickly start coming come towards me right now carry your bag carry your bible quickly god is a god of sharp 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 when praise is on god is sharp sharp god don't waste his time don't waste god's time please come keep coming keep coming keep shouting keep clapping they are coming come on everywhere anywhere keep coming jesus is clapping for you right now something is turning come on come on we are clapping because god is winning satan must lose the battle the next 11 days you can't remember the same the next 11 days your life can't remember the same your prayers must be accepted to god everything good must come to you as you are clapping good things are happening come on good things are happening more things are happening your own things are happening come on come on keep coming keep coming jesus is waiting jesus is waiting for you he wants to hand over hand over to him he will handle your matters when you hand over to god then god takes over and when god takes over the battle is over now that the battle is over you are more than a conqueror somebody is still there who is supposed to be with us right, right now he said if you don't have the son you don't have his life and if you don't have his life you can't get his gift thank you father i'm about to pray right now thank you jesus glory be to god in the name of fire we're going to sing three minutes of heavy heart help do you understand the message this morning praise is more practical than theory we are going to have inoculation of practical tomorrow for the next 11 days we are coming five to six to praise god what are we coming to do then by wednesday thursday friday we add fasting to it fasting prayer praise and warfare and by 11 days you have entered your breaking limit testimony nothing will stop you again in jesus lord i surrender this one to you right now i hand them over to you and i add that you keep there take care of them take over their battles and let them begin to matter in this life as they have surrendered to you giving you their hearts lord i ask that you take over their lives and fight their battles let them win at this last moment of the year 2020 in jesus mighty name congratulations i want to be with you in prayers i want to stand with you in the spirit you are going to be here this the next seven days oh praising god praising god no matter plan it budget it program it the psalmist says seven times a day this one is only once seven times and one one nine verse one six six five seven times a day schedule it out schedule. do that for the next 11 days five to six is for praise five to six is for praise and then wednesday thursday friday five to six thirty praise prayer fasting and then test god and see just give god a chance give god a trial and i'll see what god will do in your life seven times a day find out and place it on the screen father thank you i need your prayer point i need your your heart desires and god will ensure he meets you the name of jesus Christ. god bless congratulations open your eyes please follow this man of god and give him those documentation feel your former return for the praise go this way god bless you god bless you come on are you clapping for them are you sure you are clapping for them come on receive the garment of praise lift your two hands to heaven father i aim to please you my aim is to please you not to please my neighbor i aim to please you help me to please you lord in jesus name quiet three minutes and we enter his courts with thanksgiving hallelujah we enter his courts with praises hallelujah and we enter his courts with thanksgiving we are singing hallelujah. for three minutes because we have entered the first service already so let's keep it up before the Lord and we enter his courts with thanksgiving hallelujah we enter his courts with thanksgiving hallelujah oh praise him hallelujah
Jesus. Every physical body of sickness and disease and deformity crumbles in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, no more spiritual barriers. No more financial barriers. No more limitation on your part. Your path are clear for you to fly. This month, within now the next 11 days, you will enter your next levels. Someone here will testify of this praise. Receive grace for obedience of faith in praise in the name of Jesus Christ. May the hand of the Lord help you. In Jesus' mighty name. Remember, it's a seven, 11 days assignment. Deuteronomy 1, verse 1 to 3. Read that. We're sending it to almost all the chat rooms that are available. Please ensure you get yourself tuned and set. Only 11 days. I don't want 11 days to be shortened to 60 days. 60 days remaining before this year is over. 38 days remaining before she 2020. I will not miss any of them in the name of Jesus Christ. 11 days praise, prophetic men of destiny. May you be blessed 
in Jesus' name. You are here. This is your very first Sunday. Watching with us in the second service. Please wave your hand to Jesus Christ. Wave it to Jesus. Your very first Sunday. Wave it. Wave it to Jesus. I mean to Jesus. Not I didn't say wave me bye bye. I say wave to Jesus. The owner of your life, the one who brought you. Please carry your bag and Bible. There's a blessing for you at the altar. Please come online on ground. Please come forward towards the altar. Everyone, the service is closing already. Please come, church. Are you still clapping for them? They are coming. God is the one who brought them. They are coming. They are here, so you have to clap. God brought them. Okay, shout now. Give God a louder shout. Keep coming. You came in late. Often I'll be taking while you came. They drop the offering at the offering tag at the exit as you go in Jesus' mighty name. Remember, five to six, five to six, five to six for 11 days. You can't praise God like that and remain the same. Remember, our aim is to please God. And God's target is to place us. May you be placed in the right place. May you be replaced with your enemy looking for your downfall. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you. Welcome to church. Welcome to a place where we don't struggle. Here is sweetness all the way. The only one person that is sweating is the pastor. And every other person enjoys sweetness. And the sweating of the pastor is the sweating of the people. And that is because he's cooking something that the men must eat. And as you have eaten it now, I know sweetness becomes the order of the day in your life. You won't sweat again. The remaining two months of this year will be a testimony month for you. In Jesus' mighty name. You will not struggle again. In Jesus' mighty name. We want you to remain with us between and the end of the year. You see what God will do for you. Every Sunday we are here. Every Wednesday that we have had 11 days, you'll be there. Praising your God. And God placing you where he wants you to be this year. The Lord bless you. I need your contact. I need your phone numbers. I need your, your prayer points. And so that we can follow you up from there. But ensure you are always in the house of God. From tomorrow, 5 p.m. God bless you. It is well with you. The hand of God is on you right now. Your next assignment shall be next levels. In Jesus' mighty name. Come, please turn around. Follow this man. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Follow them. They'll pass more information to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lift your two hands. How many of you will be here tomorrow? Next tomorrow. Thursday. Friday. Saturday in our home cell. Make sure you are there. Praising God. We are doing God proud this month. Praise. Facilitate. And we know how he does it. Let's please God. You are pleased men too much. Please God now. You have done eye service for too long. Do God's service now. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It's my year of breaking limit. What eyes have not seen a year shall be as brought to year 2020. Congratulations. Those people who just came in the last, in the last 20 minutes are already in the third service. There's no need to go anywhere. It's a practical month. God bless you. Choir.
be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let salt be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every plan of witchcraft and strong man that want to take my life in any form. Lord, we are asking this morning, let salt be destroyed by the power that is above every other power. That is Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray this prayer seriously, Lord. From the death of heart, cry unto Jesus. Every plan of the enemy, every plan of witchcraft, of strong man of any kind, been in your business, been in your career, been in your family, been in the words of your hand. Lord, we are asking, Lord, by addressing them with the name of Jesus. Every thought is being destroyed right now. Every thought is being destroyed right now by the power in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray to our Heavenly Father. Is the only one that can destroy every form of destroyer. Is the only one that can destroy that strong man in your finance, that strong man in your career. Lord, we are asking as a church, as a family, in your holy name, Lord, every plan of witchcraft and strong man to take my life in any form, be destroyed by the power in your holy name, be destroyed by the power in your holy name. Lift up your voice and pray passionately from the depth of your heart. Don't be looking. Address that issue, that strong man in your finance, that witchcraft in your business of any kind that want to swallow, that want to take your life. Lord, we are asking by the power, let every thought be destroyed in your holy name. Every plan of the witchcraft, every plan of the enemy, of the strong man, in your finance, in your business, in your family, in your career, of any kind, Lord, we are asking by the power in your holy name, Lord, let every thought be destroyed destroy and shatter let every sword be destroyed and stretch out raise those hands to jesus give him all the glory worship him adore him celebrate the victory give him all the glory in jesus mighty name we all have prayed celebrate jesus by clapping those hands for him it is my year of breaking limits in this breaking invisible barrier service we are still going to rise up to pray we say, Father, let every evil arrows of shame and death fire against me. Let fire against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Amen. In Job chapter 5, verse 12, it disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. We shall say, Father, let every evil arrows of shame, death, fired against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Someone be up your feet this moment as you begin to pray that prayer. Father, let every evil arrows of shame and death fired against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Let it backfire. Let it go back to the sender. Father, let every evil arrows of shame and death fired against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Let it return back to sender. Let every evil arrow return back to sender. Every agenda of the devil according to the word of love, it disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Father, let every evil arrows of death fire against me backfire. Lord God in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Man leko paragadashia. Ezekiel is kablaga doskia. Ento soko pakalagadaya. O rabada bada. Father, let every evil arrow of shame and death fired against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Regasco bradish kalabanda lagabaya galabakata. Emparakataya. Wherever they stand, firing that arrow against me. Let it return back to sender. Let it backfire. Lord God. Mandala gabaya. Esosia koko pokoto koplo koto yo. Emblagada blagadoshkia. Let your prayer be registered this morning. Let your words be here this morning. He said, I will give you a word that the enemy will not be able to gain say lift up your voice this moment father let every evil arrows of shame and death 
fired against me backfire in the name of Jesus backfire in the name of Jesus lift up your voice malega bragadia gada esoshia kakana eshia natusia lagaboshkia eri plakataka entosia panuskia legondo bragadoskia le koko plakadia englagon bragadia wherever they are standing wherever altar they are firing that prayer firing that against you whether every arrow of dead shame fired against you it shall return back to sender it shall backfire this morning by your prayer you are standing upon the altar the altar of answers prayer manda lagaba and ruba shakada father let every evil arrows of death fired against me Backfire, backfire in the name of Jesus. Manda laga baga baga diya gaba. Ezusia blaga doskia bala gaba kaya. Manu shika blaga daba ya. Someone that know that God has answered you this morning. Return your tongues, give it back to God. Lift up your voice in appreciation of the answers that God has answered your prayer. Thanking Him, giving glory because every evil harrow has returned back to sender. Father, we give you thanks. We give you glory. We bless your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus and take your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's my year of breaking limits. Congratulations. Let's quickly listen to this epistle from the President Living Faith Church worldwide. And the subject is prophetic focus for November 2020. Breaking limits, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to believe God that He has delivered the key to a world of breakthroughs to every winner, including all our online worshippers, in the course of the month of October 2020. May this master key remain ever effectual in the hands of every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. But what is the Holy Ghost saying concerning this month of November 2020? As it is written, I by the, what as is written buy the truth and sell it not also wisdom and instruction and understanding Proverbs 23, 23 every we recognize that every prophetic scripture is a sworn verdict but any prophetic word we do not genuinely buy into do not get fulfilled in our lives when we receive and believe any God sent prophetic word and align with what to do we are bound to experience fulfillment of prophecy. However, most of the time, if allowed, the devil goes about to steal the seed of the prophetic word from us through the evil heart of unbelief. Satan will attempt to make every prophetic word look too simple to be true. And unfortunately, many have been deceived day in, day out. But the good news is, that we can stop the devil by resisting him steadfastly in the faith and we ha he has no choice but to flee. Our God is committed to the full delivery of the Breaking Limit Prophetic Package ordained for every winner for the year 2020. This is validated by the fulfillment of the prophecy that went before us began the planting of 10,000 new churches this year. When, where, as of today, over 9,000 new churches have been planted across Nigeria. Despite the COVID-19 lockdown, to God alone be all the glory. But praise is a covenant requirement for everyone to experience fulfillment of prophecy as the case of Abraham. Abraham was said to be strong in faith, giving glory to God to see prophecy fulfilled. Romans 4, 17 to 20. We understand from scriptures that every child of God is a seed of Abraham. But we must do the works of Abraham to explain the blessings of Abraham. That is, to see prophecies fulfilled, every, among others, we must engage in high praises, which we call praise warfare. Therefore, the prophetic focus for the month of November 2020 is praise facilitate fulfillment of prophecy. Praise facilitate fulfillment of. Can we echo that loud and clear? Recommended books of the month authored by Dr. David Oyedepo includes Understand the Power of Praise, Wonders of Praise, Remain Ever Blessed, David O. Oyedepo. Jesus is Lord. Can you shout loud and clear with your hands? Amen.
hey, or breaking limits. In this Breaking Invisible Barrier service, it is announcement time. Please listen to the following documented announcements. You're welcome to Living Fit Church, Ujeme, Home of Signs and Wonder. Today is our Breaking Invisible Barrier service, which also doubles as a prophetic entrance service. Via the word today, you shall receive an encounter of a lifetime in the name of Jesus. Number one, praise the Lord. We all are reminded of the diverse opportunity that this prophetic season provides. Therefore, we must endeavor to make the most of it by carrying the ark of revival in our hearts as obeyed it of deed. By remaining committed to praying for salvation of soul, reaching out with passion to them with the gospel, and ensuring their establishment in the faith and in this church. As we do all of this, we shall be taking full delivery of our breaking limit prophetic package ordained for the year. May this season of revival turn every engaging winner into a living wonder in the name of Jesus. Number two, week of spiritual emphasis. Our week of spiritual emphasis for the month of November 2020. Oh, this week from Wednesday 4th to Friday 6th, November 2020. Remember, we all shall be waiting on the Lord in the fast to break with the communion and the time is 5 p.m. Number three, we now start a light fellowship. Our house to house fellowship comes up every Saturday. We all are expected to be part of this for another time of encounter with God. Time, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Number four, church online testimony. We all are required to send our testimony of the great heart of God in our lives so as to see them preserved, multiplied and perfected to lfcujme at yahweh.com Number 5. Recommended book authored by Bishop David Oedepo includes Understanding the Power of Praise Wonder of Praise Number 6. Good News <clears throat> Next Sunday at Winners Chapel Ujeme. 8th of November 2020 shall be next level banquet service, which also double as our communion service for the month of November. Church are celebrating Jesus. Come expecting an encounter with, of a lifetime with the world. Service remains 6 30, 8 a.m., 9 30, uh, 9.30 a.m., first, second, and third service. Remember the best way to come to church is to come with someone for Jesus. Jesus is Lord. You know you are the next to be announced. Celebrate Jesus some more. It's my year of breaking limit. It is testimony time. Please, if this is your name or sounds like your name, please rush down. It's Sibo Injo. Please, if it sounds like your name, while he or she is coming down, let's listen to document testimony one. Dead Jim in my family over. In my family, the young died at 25, while the adult died at 50. I was invited into this church by a friend. I told God that if I exceed the age of 25, I know I will live past 50 years. I told God to destroy this terrible cause hanging in my family. Every morning I prophesy that I will live and not die because I believe the word of Bishop that says prophets are territory commanders while apostles are the mouthpiece of God. God has done it. Today I am over 28 years. I thought somebody would jump their hands big for the Lord. The dead gym in our family is over. I give God all the glory. The testifier is Adewale Alawadi. I thought somebody would jam their hands for the Lord for that testimony. Once I was blind, now I can see. Praise God. I'm Isaac Benny. I want to thank God for what God has done for me, precisely, and everyone in the compound where I'm living. It all happened on Monday by 8 to 9 o'clock. So I was called that my brother called me that say what are you preparing at home 
that is hungry. I said, okay, I'm not throwing anything. It's okay. Let me just get some things to arrange at home. So in the next two minutes, I was so down with Kasa and Ko. So I now separate the phone. I lie down. When I lie down, someone just broke into the door, into my room, and said, um, he's looking for Victor. I said, who is Victor? And precisely, nobody is, is, um, is living here by name Victor. No one is saying this compound. It's okay. Put your head down. If not, I will shut you. I say, how? Okay, I don't understand. Victor is not here. It's okay. Put your head down. He locked me inside the room. And he, next, he moved next to the next um, room. He asked the woman, said, okay, we should enter inside. Why ask him that you should enter inside? He wanted still to lock the woman inside. And the woman said, blood of Jesus, you can't lock me inside. So at the end of the day, I thank God that there was no life lost. They, was, they took phones. They collect money from people. But I was safe in that home. Hallelujah. I thought somebody would appreciate God for not being robbed. Let's quickly listen to this second document testimony. 30 years stagnation broken. 11 years ago, before I joined this commission, my family have suffered from stagnation for over 30 years. There was no single graduate in my family. When I joined this church, I keyed into all the prophetic words from God's servants. At an anointing service, Bishop declared that after we've been anointed, stagnation in our families will be broken. After I was anointed, things began to change in my family. Today, to the glory of God, I am a graduate. Also, during the week, the connection for a job came at Lekki, Lagos State. Today, I am gratefully employed. Glory be to God. The testifier is success. B.A. Who is in last in line for a testimony? Can you just clap the hands for the Lord at the level you want your testimony? Limits. Let's quickly listen to the epistle from God's servant, the presiding bishop, and the subject is declaring Shiloh 2020. Breaking limits written in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We serve a turnaround God. We have the turnaround Savior. Our God turns the captivity of his children as a dream of the night. Our God specializes in turning ordinary men into wonders among men. God's turnaround agenda is for his, for his children. It's not a once and for all event, but a once and again experience. There are no ceilings on our destiny as believers. It is one encounter after another that engenders one turnaround after another. Every turnaround experience in life is clearly a product of an encounter with God. From scriptures, we understand that we are redeemed into a turnaround world after the order of Christ. Also, an open door that shall not be shut day nor night is a proof of God's turnaround encounter for his children. But it is by applied revelation we experience turnaround agenda for our lives. As believers, we are not permitted to be stranded like others who do not know God because we have been redeemed as a peculiar people on the earth. As it is written, the path of the just is like a shining light, shining more and more unto the perfect day. Therefore, the prophetic theme for Shiloh 2020 is turnaround encounters. Can we echo that loud and clear? Turnaround encounters. And 126, verse 126. Shiloh 2020 shall be a mountain of divine encounters, resulting in supernatural turnaround in every area of our life for every participant. Every winner must endeavor to be at Shiloh 2020, either on ground here at Canaan land or across any of our vineyard centers around the world. Note that also all our churches across the nations, cities, towns, and villages shall serve as viewing centers during Shiloh 2020. Looking forward to seeing you at Shiloh 2020. Come Tuesday, December 8th to Sunday, December 7, 13, 2020. Remain ever blessed. Jesus is Lord. David O Oyedepo. Shout again with your hands. Clap it.
widow's arm for Jesus. It is my year of breaking limits. In this service, it is an offering time. Again, let's package those seed that God Himself alone has given to every one of us. And while we are doing that, we must understand that His word said that whatsoever seed that we offer to Him is a praise that glorify Him. That's why His word said, Whosoever that give God praise, glorify God. With Jesus' joy, with those tithe, those offering, shall we rise up for Jesus to give Him glory for the seed that He has given to us? Rise up to Jesus. And raise those seeds above our head. And while we are speaking, for those following us online on the screen, is the detail of our giving channel. And for those of us that want to do the mobile transfer, why not? On the screen is a detail giving channel. Raise those seeds above your head. Speak a word unto it. His word said, "Whatever name Adam call it, that was the name thereof." Lord, again we say thank you because indeed you are the God that gave us power to make this word. Lord, as we return it unto you, indeed we shall receive the blessing from above in the name of Jesus. Church, cast those seed with Jesus' joy while the choir minister. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Lift up your hands together as we worship God. Let's praise His greatness. Our God is great and glory to be praised. His mercy endures forever. He is just a worship song. Come on, let's sing. Come on, you all join us as we worship Him. Say, my God is awesome.
Celebrate him for his wonders in the family, in your business, in your career, in every area of life. Lift your hands, wave unto him and praise him. Give him praise and glory. He's worthy. Father, we give you praise. We thank you. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. We worship your holy name. We give you all the glory for the prophetic word that have gone ahead of us. We thank you for every declaration concerning our destiny. To you alone be all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please clap your hands to Jesus and take your seat in God's presence. I want to appreciate the Almighty God this moment for the great privilege to stand before his people. And I also want to thank my father in the house, Pastor CBN, for this great privilege given to me. God bless you, sir. God's servant started with us in the first service and opened us with understanding is the core requirement in our work with God. Understanding is the core requirement in our work with God. Jeremiah 9 verse 23 to 24. The problems comes when we miss the place of our understanding. Understanding makes life better. When you have understanding, your story will change. When you have understanding, your life will grow brighter and better as the word of God has declared. Praise the Lord. So we are looking also onto understanding how praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. Part 1C, God's servant took us part 1A, part 1B, and now we are looking at part 1C. Understanding how praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. Remember, we are in the month of praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. Praise facilitates the fulfillment of prophecy as a prophetic theme of the month. Praise the Lord. Prophecy. What is prophecy? What is prophecy? Prophecy is the unveiling of God's plan and purpose for a nation, for a people or individual. Prophecy is unveiling God's word for individual, for a nation, or for a people. What is prophecy? It is the word spoken from the mouth of God, directly or from the word of God, to you, to change your situation. So we saw in Deuteronomy 18, verse 21, Deuteronomy 18, 21, and 20, 21 and 22. And if thou say in thy heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? 22. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken. But the prophet had spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Praise the Lord. The word of prophecy is the word of God. It's designed to fulfill destiny. That is why every time the word of God comes. It does not come ordinary. It comes with the declaration, the fulfillment of destiny. We know that every word that comes from the mouth of God is certainly to break barriers for us. It's certainly to make our life to move forward. When the prophetic word comes, it matters that your understanding needs to be connected to the word. That is why the topic says, understanding how praise facilitates fulfillment of prophecy. How do you make the prophetic word spoken to you in this year that you are going to break limit? How will you break the limit if you are not connected with the power of praise in your family, in your life, towards what you are looking up to God for a miracle? You are, you are an expectant, expecting miracle. You want to change your story. You want your life to be brighter. But you are to receive a word. Receive a word. In First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18 and 19, he said to you, say, Son Timothy, he said, this charge which I commit to you, he said, don't let it stay dormant. Walk with it. Walk with it. So every spoken word of God to you from the word of God is, is has the ability to manifest. But you will need
need to engage it with praise. Praise the Lord. We also saw in Ezekiah chapter 37. Ezekiah 37 verse 4. Ezekiel 37 verse 4. The word of God says, Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 37 verse 4. He said, again he said unto me prophesy upon these bones and say unto them all ye dry bones hear the word of the Lord and in verse, in verse 7 verse 7 verse 7 so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a shaking and the bones came together bone to his bone now the bones has been hidden there are a lot of destiny that have been in the grave that have not been fulfilled. A lot of books that people are supposed to write that are, they are dead because of, as a result of that. There are some that are supposed to be business tycoons, but as a result of barrier, they are not able to fulfill anything. Many destiny are wasted. But hear what the prophetic word says, which have the capacity to bring the life and the destiny of souls back. That is why say prophecy is the plan, spoken word to fulfill the plan of individual the plan of the people whether you are dead the word of God can bring you back to life so prophecy from the word of God is what you need to break every barrier that stands between you and your family that stands between you and your testimony it does not take power it takes the word believe in the word of the prophet Second Chronicle 20 verse 20 believe in the word of the prophet he said you will prosper and also in the word of the Lord. He said, you'll be established. Word of prophecy is what you need. Praise the Lord. In Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 25. Ezekiel 12 25. He said, for I am the Lord. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall not be, it shall be no more prolonged. Oh, rebellion house. I will say the word and I will perform it. Said the Lord. The word of the Lord that has gone forth does not know barrier. It will accomplish what has been spoken for. That is why no matter where your life is, how you are suffering, where you are, it doesn't matter. But just believe the word of prophecy that has gone on your way. In Luke chapter 5, verse 5 to 7. Luke 5, 5 to 7. We saw the story of Simon Peter. And he said, Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at the word, I will lay down the net. Verse 6. And when they are this done, they enclose a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Verse 7. And they beckon unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ship so that they began to sing. What they are looking for was settled by the word of prophecy. What you need is a word. What you need is a word. In Genesis chapter 32, verse 24, verse 8, verse 24, 8, it said, And Jacob was left alone. He was under turmoil of pain, suffering, going through a manner of stress. But when the word came, he said, Change your name, a prophetic word, that you, as a Jacob, that is a word for you, change the name. And when it name was changed, to Israel. He became a man of power. What you are looking for is just between you. Only the prophetic word. Receive it, believe it, and everything will change in Jesus' mighty name. Scripturally, there are two main sources of prophecy. Two main sources of prophecy. Number one, which is said to be more sure word. That is more sure word. The more sure word of prophecy. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 19 and verse 21 second peter chapter 1 verse 19 we have also a more sure word of prophecy we are unto ye do well that ye take it as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart verse 21 verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but only men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Prophecy that does not move you can never change your life. When the prophetic word comes, it doesn't matter who 
God has used to speak the word. When you get the word, make sure you make the, engage the word. And the word you engage is the one that has the power to break that barrier that is fighting your destiny. The word, the word. He says, speak your word. And every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord, he says, does not go back void. That is something it must do in your life. And I see God, every word that God speaks through his servant this morning, it shall be fulfilling in your life in Jesus' mighty name. He said in Psalm 89 verse 34, my covenant I will not break nor alter the things that is gone out of my lips. My covenant I will not break. If God has said the word on this altar, if God has spoken the word, believe it. Believe it. That word cannot go back to God void. Because there is much power in heaven to break any yoke, any barrier. There is more power in heaven to put any devil on flight. But you must believe that prophetic word for the power to be released. If you don't believe, it will not happen. That is why there are many that are still living in the shadow or in the valley or shadow and still living in pain, still living in sorrow because they have not believed the word. Believe the word and everything will be cleared off in the name of Jesus. Secondly, the prophetic words sent to our way. The word that is sent to you. The word that you receive. He said what it says to one, it says to all. The word that has spoken to one person, the same word can multiply and mul multiply in millions if they can believe. Praise the Lord. A man of God said he had a word from the mouth of God's servant. He said when he had the word from God's servant that I can never be poor. That was a prophetic word. God's servant spoke when God gave him the word. It changed his story. And this man said when he applied the same word that his destiny changed. So every word that comes from the mouth of God through the servant spoken to you or to anyone in your family is sure to come. But you must believe it. You must be connected to the word. Praise the Lord. In Matthew chapter 10 verse 41. Matthew 10, 41. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet reward. And he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man reward. What you receive has the ability to change your story. When you receive the prophetic word spoken this morning concerning breaking barrier, concerning every causes or concerning every forces that is fighting you, you believe that by the word of God today, that barrier is broken. When you believe, according to the word of God, it will be released and it will be broken. But you must believe. Praise the Lord. It is what you believe that God works with. It is what you have spoken that God can use to connect your destiny. Praise the Lord. But we have a responsibility to know what it takes to experience fulfillment of prophecy. We have a responsibility to know what it takes to experience fulfillment of prophecy. And this is what informs our, our lives. We have the word. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 1 to 13. Isaiah 5 1 to 13. We read verse 1 to 5 and verse 13. Now I will sing to my well beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard my well beloved at a vineyard in a very fruitful hill and he fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein and he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wine gra wild grapes and now oh inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah judge I pray to you betwixt me and my vineyard what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I look that it should bring forth grapes, it brought it forth white grapes. And now, go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take away the edge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down. Praise the Lord. Every barrier in your life is already been broken down, but the word.
word of prophecy. Prophetic words are the voice of power from heaven to break barriers of destinies. That is why when a man planted his business, you have put everything but the business collapsed. When you put things in order in your family, it is called a sickness, financial stress, poverty. is still trying to take away the joy of the family. Then there is a call for prayer that will break down that wall. That is why he said we will pray and to know what is making all our effort to be wasted. Praise the Lord. But prophetic word has power to destroy every barrier. And I see destroy every barrier for you in the name of Jesus Christ. So what are prophecies? What are these prophetic words? Number one, prophecies are not religious wishes, but the unfolding of divine plan. It's not religious wishes, but the unfolding of divine plan. Joshua 21 verse 45. Joshua 21 verse 45. There fail not out of any good thing which the Lord has spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. All came to pass. Prophecy is not a religious word. It's not a word spoken to make you feel happy. It's not a word spoken to bring you down from every from the happiness you are enjoying. It's a word spoken to make your life brighter and better. That is why when God said to the children of Israel, He said, Rise up and move forward. In Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 24 and verse 36. He said, Rise up and move forward. Let them take that move forward. Because they were in a place where they have met their doom. Their life could not more experience brighter life, no joy. He said, let them rise up prophetically and move. And as they move in verse 36 of Deuteronomy 2, he said, there was no city too strong for them. The Lord our God gave them all to us because of prophetic war that can energize and fulfill destiny. Praise Master Jesus. Secondly, prophecies are not psychological permutation. Prophecies are not psychological permutations. They are sworn verdict. They are sworn verdict. Isaiah 14 24. Isaiah 14 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn, saying, Surely as I have taught, so shall it come to pass, and as I have proposed, so shall it stand. Every word that comes from the mouth of God has no problem fulfillment of his word but it will take you to engage when we read Luke chapter 5 we saw that in verse 6 Peter said to him he said master I am a professional fisherman I know where the fishes are in the morning and in the afternoon in the evening you cannot tell me what to do this is my area of life and Jesus didn't say a word after he has commanded him until Peter came to his understanding and said no he said nevertheless and the word that word and he left everything and depend his life on the world and the bible say when they have done this when they have obeyed taking responsibility he said they enclose a multitude of fish they were able to break limitations they were able to break every barrier when they obey the same way when you obey today god will break every barrier that stands before you in the mighty name of jesus christ thirdly God speaks according to himself, not according to us. God is in heaven. He does not speak according to your feeling. What you are feeling right now has no business with God. It is what you will need to do how, what God has said concerning you that matters in your life. You want to fulfill destiny. You want to live long. You want to conquer. Then be serious with the prophetic word that has spoken on your destiny. Every word that comes from this altar is the prophetic word. But how many have you received? How were you able to receive the word and connect it with your life, your family, your career? When they said to me some time ago, they said that every carryover that I had, that carryover was not, I didn't have carryover because I wanted to get carryover. That carryover came as a result of manipulations. And he said, a, a prophetic word came to me from a, a man of God. He said, that whether it is one carryover or it is 20 carryover, it is God that said it. And I have to believe the word of God that I'm going to graduate with my set, even having 16 carryover. How do I graduate with my set? 
Now, God has spoken. It doesn't matter the lecture or the power, the popularity of any man. But when God spoke the word, I believed the word and I graduated with my set. I wrote project. It was taken. Others rejected it, but it was taken. Because the prophetic word that I believe matters much more than any other power, any other lecture, any other wisdom. When the word of God comes to you, believe it. Take it. That is where the way out comes from. Don't say it's just a word. I mean, if I write, I, I may still fail. Because you don't believe yet. It's a belief. That is no way. Even when you wrote nonsense, the lecturer, at that moment, because of your belief, connection of faith, that's a power that is higher than the power of that lecturer, power of that mentality that will go into action. When he will want to mark your paper, something good will happen. And he will give you the good news on your paper by giving you 100%, which you didn't discover. Why? Because there was a prophetic war that has gone ahead of you that is manifesting, creating things in your favor. And I see God doing a favor and breaking limit, limits for you in the name of Jesus Christ. But until a prophetic word is received, it, is never get, it will never get fulfilled. Until it is received, it cannot be fulfilled. We have seen it in 2 Peter 1, 19 and 21. Until it is received, it cannot be fulfilled. We also saw in Mark chapter 4, verse 30 to 32. Mark 4, 30 to 32. And he said, Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seed that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and become greater than all herbs and suited out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Praise the Lord. No matter how you know how that drastic, how hard the condition you are going through, you can never believe in it much more than what you need to believe about the prophetic word concerning you. If you think that what the devil is doing to you now is more bigger, more powerful, then the word of God upon your life will have no effect. It will not come to pass. You will still be going through frustration. While others are sharing testimony, you are going through pain. What you have not believed. But when you believe the word and you receive it, no matter how small your faith might be, the word you receive will become a greater word when you put into action. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Luke chapter 8 verse 11. Luke 8, 11 and 15. Luke 8, 11. Now, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. What is the seed? A prophetic word you believe. It becomes a seed in you. When you nurture it, it becomes what? It becomes a powerful fruit. That powerful tree that has fruit, branches. That is why when you plant a purple, the seed of a purple is very small. When you plant it as small as it is, when you put it on the ground, after some days, you begin to see the, the sprout of it. And after some months, you see the same little seed you planted growing to a point that you can begin to harvest. You see other, other fowls of the air coming to touch on it because of that little seed. It's a prophetic seed. Men, you use your heart to connect. Make a way for it. Walk with it. Believe it. Make it on the way, on the go. Put it into your life. What is the word for you this month? The prophetic word for the month. He said, praise. Facilitate the fulfillment of prophecy. Will you engage praise? God's servant have said, we will praise God on Monday, 5 to 6, Tuesday, for 11 days. Some of us here, we will not care. We will still go home and sit down and say, ah, it's too stressful. But your destiny is tied to it. Because the potency of praise, one hour praise, is far powerful than 40 days of prayer and fasting. One hour praise can change your story. It can overlook all the problems you are going through and take you to abroad. It can make people from abroad to come looking for you. Just praise. That is a seed. When you engage the prophetic word, then you are way open. I see God opening for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Is every prophetic word received ignites hope. Romans chapter 4 verse 18. Every prophetic word you receive, it will ignite hope. Romans 4 verse 18. 
who against hope believe in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be the word was spoken to him he has no child he has no money he has no hope but the, the prophetic word that god said to him that i will make you a father of nation was the powerful force behind the the growing and behind the success of abraham abraham has no background he has no connection he's not a politician abraham was just an ordinary man but god gave a word there are many that god has spoken to but maybe it's only abraham that believed the word and the bible said when he obeyed abraham became a father of many nations till today when you obey the word of god it becomes the eternity of greater works and greater life and a better life for you and i see god changing your story from today in jesus mighty name i see god changing your story in jesus mighty name every prophetic word receives stimulate joy and rejoicing when you receive the word the prophecy came to you saying god has destined your death to become a man that will make great news in the future you discover that when you receive the word you are happy when the word of god comes to you you are happy ah this was spoken to me and when you receive the word you discover that you will not be able to work with it if you are not happy the bible said in hebrew hebrew 12 verse 2 he said we should look unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him that was joy set before him he endured the cross how was he able to endure the cross despising the shame because there was a joy that he asked to go on to, to in fulfillment that at the end i am going to sit down with god at his right hand i am going to sit down with god at his right hand that was the joy that he has to go through the pain of the nail on the cross even when they are spitting on him and slapping and beating him he was not aware because the efficacy of that joy that was before him was greater stronger than what any man can do so look unto jesus what he saw the same prophetic word that made him to fulfill the same word as you engage that word your destiny will be fulfilled in the name of jesus christ praise the lord a prophetic word went forth to abraham concerning the birth of his son which was fulfilled in genesis chapter 18 verse 9 to 14. also abraham had, had to engage the mystery of praise to see his prophecy fulfilled in romans chapter 4 verse 16 to 20 we saw that and fulfill his word god fulfilled his word to abraham by visiting sarah as he had said in genesis 21 verse 1 to 6 genesis 21 verse 1 to see to see prophecy fulfilled we must remain strong in faith giving glory to god you must remain strong in faith to see prophecy fulfilled praise the lord now what are breaking invisible barriers what are barriers and how do we break these barriers we have the redemptive right to clear invisible barriers of our part of destiny we have the right it's our right to break barriers it is in our system our spiritual dna to break invisible barriers in isaiah 52 verse 1 to 3 isaiah 52 1 to 3 we have God's servant read for us. Isaiah 52, 1 to 3. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garment, O Jerusalem. The holy city for henceforth. There shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Lose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughters of Zion. Verse 3. For thus said the Lord, Ye have sold yourself for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money it doesn't take it's not money it's not offering it's not but seed it's about your belief what you believe today has the capacity to change your life tomorrow the word you don't believe today can never change your life so believe in what god has said right now because you have it in you if you believe it then you will see the performance of the word spoken luke chapter 1 verse 45 he said invisible barriers are real according to matthew chapter 13 matthew 13 verse 24 to 28 he said when men slept he gave a parable when men slept the devil came to sow when men slept he came to sow and so they have to wake up to uproot it so every time you see things that are not
planted by God. Every time you discover that your life is not going the way you desire, know that there's a forces of darkness that is trying to play some pranks. What do you do? You prophesy against them. He says, Son of man, prophesy. So when you wake up in the morning as early as 5 4 a.m., you prophesy to the atmosphere to speak to your destiny. Wherever they have eaten my destiny, whoever that have tied down, tied me down with a rope, I release my destiny. Whether they put it in a bottle, whether they be padlock somewhere, I release it by thunder. Whether they're in the sea, I retrieve it by the hand of God. So you speak the word, you speak the word, because the word that has not been spoken can never have effect in your life. Praise the Lord. Now there are keys we must know. Seven keys to break the barriers quickly. Seven keys. Number one, become and remain a child of light. First John four verse sixteen. First John four verse sixteen and John chapter one verse five. Number two, keep walking in the light of the world. Keep walking in the light of the world. John chapter twelve verse thirty five. Walk in his light. Number three. Keep walking by faith. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. Second Corinthians 5, verse 7. And first John 5, verse 4. To overcome, you must walk in faith. Four. Keep serving God and the interests of his kingdom. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 12 to 15. Second Chronicles 15, 12 to 15. He said, When they come in agreement to serve the Lord, then the God Almighty stop all the forces of darkness that is causing war causing restlessness causing sorrow and bloodshed he said when they come in agreement so keep work keep serving god and the test of his kingdom number six keep speaking boldly against all unwanted situation don't watch what you don't want some of us we even praise the devil we make him to be very magnified in in our own eyes he said the devil can do this one the devil has killed Susan and so the devil can make your life unbearable that is because of what you have done that is making the devil to destroy you so therefore you now surrender your life to the devil no say no no matter how good the devil may appear no matter the situation may appear it is from the devil resist it and keep speaking boldly praise the lord finally engage in praise as a lifestyle engage in praise as a lifestyle in acts chapter 2 verse 47 Acts 2 47 praising God. They were praising God. Then they were not having favor with the people. And the Lord keep hardening. They were praising. God was hardening. Hardening. Every moment, every day such as should be saved. I'd like you to know as you obey the instruction from the altar from this moment, your life will never remain the same. I say your life will never remain the same. Shall we rise up on your feet? I want you to know that if you are here, you have not given life to Jesus. Remember, the devil flogged the sons of Skiva, the sons of Skivas, these men does not have Jesus. And the devil overpowered them. The devil put them under cage and make their life unbearable. You are here, you have not given life to Jesus. Please, don't let the devil make you a specimen. Your story is about to change. I want you to put your right hand on your chest. Let me pray with you. Because your story is about to change now. Put your right hand on your chest. And Every word God has said to you, today is going to pass. So please, don't be ashamed. Only this moment, your story will change. Say with me. Please say with me, Lord Jesus, I come to you to be my Lord and Savior. From today, I believe you died for me. Take over my life. Make my life brighter. Make me to see better life. In Jesus' mighty name. Please, I want you to come. Please come. Don't be ashamed. Come. Let God serve and pray for you. Please come. Come, come, come. Come, carry the Bible and come. Come to the altar. Please don't be ashamed. Today is your day. Your study is about to change. Please come, come. Clap your hand to Jesus. Make it better as you receive God's servant of our Father. Make it better. Hallelujah. Your two hands lifted up to heaven in praise. Lifted hands is a symbol of praise. When your hands go up, God rises up on your matter. Lift your two hands. Give God thanks. Praise the name of the Lord. We are singing a song, songs of praise, songs of deliverance. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Listen to this. When God becomes your song, your deliverance is sure and certain. Psalm 118 verse 6. When God becomes your song, 
your deliverance is sure and certain listen he said the lord is on my side i will not fear what man can do to me say amen come on say god is my song exodus 15 verse 2 when god becomes your song your deliverance is sure and certain your deliverance from invisible barrier is certain in this service the lord is my strength and my song he has become my salvation he is my god i will prepare him an habitation my father's god i will exalt him where god lives is the songs of praise of his saints god lives in praise psalm 22 verse 3 you are holy you inhabit the praise of your people as you sing god as your song god will take over your battles in the name of jesus christ from this moment you will not struggle with barriers again psalm 118 verses 14 to 16 when god becomes your song your deliverance is sure and certain mark it between now and the 11th of this month god will take over your battles the lord is my strength and my song the lord has become my salvation verse 15 the, the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous the right hand of my god doeth valiantly verse 16 the right hand of god is exalted the right hand of god dwell valiantly as you clap your hand right now you are slapping the devil on both cheeks come on give god a loud shout we are going to take an inoculation right now because god has given us an assignment of 11 days journey of praise for prophecy fulfillment beginning from today deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 that what would have taken you 40 years by disobedience is actually 11 days by obedience they, this be the words which moses spake unto all israel on this side of jordan in the wilderness in the plain over again the red sea between param tofel leban hazaroth and bizahab they are 11 days journey from horeb the mountain of god by the way of mount sinai unto kadev benar they bring the entrance of the promised land and they didn't get there it came to pass in the 40th year 11 days journey was elongated to 40 years by virtue of disobedience and in the 11th month on the first day of the month moses said i stand as moses to you this morning to obey what god has said it is easier to praise god and feel pains than to be delayed and be denied your progress brothers and sisters beginning from today right now we are receiving three minutes of inoculation to prepare us to activate us for the journey ahead you will arrive your destiny in 11 days your breaking limit destiny you will arrive there in 11 days every company every companionship every cv every proposal every every lpo everything you have gotten from heaven god will listen to you with speed so what are we doing we are not having fun we are not having pleasure we are not even excited we are actually obeying god for fulfillment of prophecy why habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 18 and 19 although your pregnancy has not shown although your mentality is not yet working although our is still on strike although there is still protest in the whole community although you lost so much in covid 19 lockdown although there is no money in your bank account everything has failed verse 18 yet i will rejoice as i'm doing that the lord become the joy of my salvation the lord will make my feet like Ein's feet and where am i heading to my high places how many people are going to their high places isaiah 58 verses 14 if you can obey what i've just said he said the lord your god 
when you delight in the Lord your God, it will cause thee to ride on the high places of the earth. It will feed you. Anytime you take up your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Everything God has said this year, you will see it as you begin to sing your song. That amen is not for this 2020. Everything God has said, as you sing his praise, it shall be sealed and confirmed in your life. Lift your two hands right now. Two minutes of hot praise. Receive garment of praise. The barrier must break. The barrier must break. Receive the garment of praise. Not fun. Not fun fair. But fulfillment of prophecy. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. We are going to be hot, hot, sharp, sharp. Are you ready? Receive the garment of praise. There's enough space. You can dance and dance and spin around and dance everywhere. God will be glorified. We are receiving inoculation. Tomorrow, next tomorrow, throughout the week, 11 days, we are coming every day for one hour. Dancing all through. So today, just the hazard. We are only warming up. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's go. Choir, quickly. Come on. It's not time to stand like standard bound. It's time to shake up and be so the fire.
Mama Give him glory. Worship him. Thank him. Your own promise is coming to pass. No more delay. No more denial. In the name of Jesus. Lift your two hands, heaven. Beginning from this moment, every hanging prophetic word begins to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Every barrier standing between you and the prophetic word for the year 2020 breaks down in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing of God is pouring down upon you in heavy dimension. You are sweating in praise this season. We sweeten your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Your display in praise will displace all your enemies. Every physical health threatening barrier on your path, sickness and disease is caused to their root in the name of Jesus. Every financial limitation every material encumbrance every force from the wickedness of the wicked I curse them right now in the name of Jesus every head hunter in your family, in your neighborhood looking for you to rise and they'll cut off your head, they go down for you in the name of Jesus every glory thief in your lineage that is waiting for you to emerge and they'll quench your light God will quench them now in the name of Jesus Christ God will off the light against your enemies. God will make their foot to slide. Anyone that hates you, they will hurt themselves. Anyone looking forward to hit you, God will hit them down. Anyone that vowed over their dead body, they go down right now. Anyone that said you won't get job, God will displace them to give you jobs. Anyone that said you won't get settled, God will unsettle them right now. Anyone that is using your glory to make money, they go down today in the name of Jesus. Every invisible force 
the, that is manipulating your life and destiny, their remote control catches fire right now. And so shall it be. Every physical element used of the devil to manipulate your life, their control ends right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Next Sunday is Next Level's Banquet. I'd like you to know that God has planned the next level for you, but it is the next level via praise. So the next seven days, we are praising God. This one we have just done now is just rehearsal. It's just inoculation. We have just been inoculated for praise. So tomorrow, five to six, praise non-stop. Opening prayer. So choir is not about who is leader. It's about who is active, who is sharp, who can enter something. Uh, are you hearing me now? Praising God. If you tire the next person, you tire the next person, you tire the next person, we'll share the goodness. Tomorrow, we'll continue. Next tomorrow, we'll continue. By Wednesday, we added prayer, fasting, praise, worship, dancing, celebration. All of them join. Our aim, listen to this, because if you don't have understanding of praise, you will think it's just fun. Our understanding is to please God. Praise pleases God. When we can please God, it will place you in your original place in destiny. What did I just say? Praise pleases God. So, all we are going to do for 11 days is an aim to please God. My agenda is not for you to see, see how I'm dancing. Is that my heart desire is to please God. And if I can please God, God will place me. Psalm 69 verse 30 and 31 and then uh, Proverbs 16 verse 7. The Lord be with you in Jesus name. You are here. This is your very first Sunday worship service in this church. Can I see you wave your hand to Jesus? First Sunday service ever. God bless you. Please wave it. Wave it wherever you are. Wave it. God bless you. Wave it to Jesus wherever you are. Online on ground. Please carry your Bible in your bag. There's a special prayer for you. Please come towards the altar. There is a special prayer for you. Those people who wave their hand, please come. Please come towards the altar. There's a special blessing for you here on the altar. And God bless you as you do in Jesus' mighty name. Please come. Clap hand for them. They are coming. Don't wait for who will come out first. It's your own blessing. Nobody will take yours. It's yours. So don't forfeit it for anybody. They are still coming. Keep clapping. They are coming. They are still coming. God bless you. God bless you. Now stretch your hand over them. Let's ask that the Lord will bless them. Let's ask that the hand of God will rest upon them. Let's ask that their story will change this year. Let's ask that their testimony will begin right now. Let's ask that within the next 11 days, they will enter next levels. They will change story because they are pleased God. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we hand over this, your sons to you. We ask that you keep them, protect them, preserve them. Let your face shine upon them. Give them rest and peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, brothers. I'd like you to know you have entered the ark where God preserved destinies. You are here today. Within the next 11 days, if you can do what we have just said now, tomorrow we are here 5 p.m. to 6. Next morning we are 5 p.m. to 6. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we are at home, say 5 p.m. to 6. Sunday, we are also here dancing, dancing, dancing. All to please God. And when we please God, the remaining is history. The Lord bless. We want to follow you up and show that all your desires are granted this month before the year is over. Give us your name, give us your phone number, give us your prayer request, your heart desire. God will change your story. Congratulations. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name, it is well with you. Please follow this man of God. Pass my information to you. Go in peace. The presence of God will go with you. In Jesus' name. Surely, God's goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. What eyes have not seen here shall be as well. All through year 2020. Congratulations. Come with everybody around you. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is our week of emphasis. Fasting begins. Tomorrow's 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Praise. Next tomorrow, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Praise. If you came in late, offering have been taken. Please drop your offering as you go. Drop your offering as you go at the exit basket. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Peace. See you tomorrow, 5 p.m. for praise.